Yeah, what you gonna tell the little homie that all he got is faith in? He grew up in a place where most of these niggas hopeless. And he gotta watch these niggas line themselves up and get murdered all over the fucking place. And now he gotta watch these niggas and look in their faces, see the fucking demise all in their face. Now you can see these niggas about to run in the first place, and that's what they wanna do. But they ain't got the courage to And he gotta watch this shit like damn Where he worth his shit Pops on the bullshit He ain't even seeing them Mom's on that bullshit She always worth it doing shit Real shit And she don't even wanna look for a nigga She come home, she go straight to sleep Don't even fuck with a nigga Real shit All this distance ass shit Now I gotta be a lone wolf And go and get myself rich Fuck it Then when I get rich, man Do I owe them shit, man? I just be asking myself that but I'ma get banned, stack them shits tall, nigga, so I can pay my fucking rent Backed up a little bit Yeah, nigga, knowing I can make pay Knowing I can make pay Yeah, cause I know I'm worth hella shit Shit, when I'm talking this shit Shit so hot, like media is and shit Watch out, nigga, Mayday Real shit, I got this 38, shit, Mayday Ay, and I don't play I come from a place where niggas cry with a straight face yeah, you know they ain't gonna show their real face, nigga. Take the mask off. What y'all niggas on, nigga? Yeah. Now niggas is grown, nigga. We ain't playing that shit no more. All that bullshit they was teaching us, like, nigga, now I'm grown, now I'm seeing the truth. And my third eye open now. I ain't playing no more. I know these niggas just wanna act tough Cause I ain't had no muscle Now I got my muscle up, nigga Now I'm on the court And I'm crossing over, niggas I ain't playing now I left his ass in the dust But I crossed his ass And I got me a bucket I ain't playing games now And this shit ill Man, these bitches all in my damn face now And this shit so annoying me I ain't playing with that bullshit I can't play with the foolery, nigga I don't even need the jewelry You niggas is on that bullshit And they new to me, I'm seeing it now I'm seeing through shit Everywhere I go, motherfuckers know I ain't playing that shit Nigga, man, I know you niggas full of shit And you pussy out here choosing battles Like you can hit shit Nigga, you ain't on shit And that gun that you got That you totin', nigga Don't make you tough, bitch And I'm on your ass Real shit Nigga, I ain't playing no more Than this dope shit And I'm flowing on this I ain't playing games, I'm from New York So you know what this is, nigga, this is legendary shit I ain't gonna waste my time, cause you know these niggas really can rap and shit Nigga, I'm trying to be good as Jay-Z or big or something, nigga I'm from Brooklyn, eh, from the X, uh. I ain't playing games with you niggas, you know I'm stressed out Cause I need a dollar in there, I gotta hustle for the 9 to 5 bullshit I don't wanna work that, but I gotta work that to pay shit Real shit, my baby mom's always on bullshit Got me ready, yo, commands up, nigga, choke swing shit In this journey, in this third dimensional game, people say I'm finding myself. Right? I'm finding myself. I lost myself. I, I don't know who I am. But when you really think about it, like literally in the present moment, right? You've been with yourself your whole entire life. Like you've literally been with you. You just wasn't connected to your inner spirit. Well, back on this weirdo internet shit. Uh, here we go again. Wait for wait for motherfuckers to me. I be peeping like when I post these shits on my fucking page, they don't even show like what was actually going on in the live. <laughs> That's kind of weird. 
Or it's hoodie season. I love this season. Hoodie season. With these weird old motherfuckers out my face. It's winter time. Today I just started my new job and shit. I'm doing security in bed stock. And like building look like the trenches. Police was outside the building because somebody got stabbed and shit. Like the other day. Yeah. Basically I went over there. They was just giving me the rundown about, you know, what it's like being a security guard over there, shit like that. Um, shit about the building. You know what I'm saying? Basically, that's in the bag. Well, you know, like I told the lady, uh, my supervisor, you know? I, I, I grew up in the hood my whole life, so I know how to respect and move in a certain kind of way. Like, even though I'm a security guard, I'm not, I'm not going to be acting like no security guard. <laughs> not me. It's not going to happen. Really, this live is a uh, collab, you know what I'm saying? Me and uh, TC Fitness are supposed to be collabing. But before TC get here, I tap in with somebody else. Oh, uh, TC here already. So I'd, have, I'd have fucked with you, bro, but um, waiting on TC for me. Whenever you ready, TC. It was good with y'all niggas, son. Niggas is, you feel me? Niggas is live from Brooklyn. I'm really in lone wolf mentality. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's my shit. I mean, I'm just focused. I'm super duper focused. Like, I could care less about any female. You know what I'm saying? Talking to a female, trying to get to know a female. I don't give a fuck about even engaging in that. You know, I'm trying to figure out if my job got doubles available. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to get this paper. Like, and I'm going to be working so much, I'm not even going to want to be on this internet shit. Because, like, once I'm getting money, you know what I'm saying? I don't really be giving a fuck about nothing else. And since I ain't making money on YouTube yet, then, you know, YouTube is not my main priority. Because it's really, really the type of way I am is as long as I'm good in real life, I could care less about if my channel was growing or any of that bullshit. I don't give a fuck about that shit. You know what I'm saying? The YouTube shit is already solidified. Nigga, I am. All I got to do is keep being my motherfucking self. And you know what I'm saying? That shit going to come with time. It's that fucking YouTube shit is simple. Because the fucking internet is filled with a bunch of gullible ass niggas that believe everything they hear anyway. Anyway. <laughs> These niggas, bro. A nigga say he on day such and such. Post a video, pop up on the semen retention uh, algorithm. And now niggas is fucking with him because he on day 150. Now his channel about to blow through the fucking roof. Like, I mean, you know, if it's that easy, shit, I'm not really in no rush. Shit, if it's that easy, shit me. But everybody should be focused on getting money, bro. Or and then when you decide to make your little YouTube channel, like I know every young nigga want to do for sure, then do that. It's it's easy out here. These niggas on the internet is cake, nigga. Make your money off these weird old niggas, bro. These niggas gonna watch you for just you being yourself, which is a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? And all you got to do is just stay consistent in whatever you're doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you want SEMA retention and you got a channel, just stay consistent. If you got a workout channel, just make sure you stay consistent with your workouts and post the shit. You know what I'm saying? Tell niggas your diet and all that shit. Really? The internet is mad simple, bro. For real. And then when, Really, like, my whole plan with the YouTube shit is to show niggas my growth. Y'all niggas that see me at the bottom for the day one G's. Y'all niggas saw me with my bed on the floor. I ain't have nothing. I had a bullshit iPhone 6. And then, boom. Now I got an iPhone X or uh, S, whatever you call that shit. And I'm doing a little bit better. And I'm growing. And I'm not homeless no more. And uh, uh, like You know what I'm saying? As, as my life be progressing and shit like that, you know? Niggas just gonna come along for the ride. And, you know, when the shit crack, the shit gonna crack. And everybody get to go back and see all the work I put in in the, in the beginning. Get TC on you. Bye.
nigga Davis. Dang. Cool, Actually, I gotta go get my headphones. Where I put them? Yeah, I was just about to ask you if you can hear me too. Nah, I can hear What's you. Right now. My headphones. What's good with you though, bro? What you fucking with? Shit, chilling, chilling. I was waiting for you to to accept the uh the call shit. I was just chilling here, listening to what you were saying. For the time being. Yeah. Everybody, everybody in the in the live was good, y'all. Was good, y'all. New York is in the have, building. We just gonna have another live for y'all, man. Everybody that's retaining, doing no fap, all that good shit. Keep retaining, man. Stop watching this porn shit. Stop touching Word, shit. that demonic ass weird shit. Like, oh god, like love, these bitches love, really be acting in these videos, bro. Like, yeah, bro. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot that we gonna talk about on this live. Well, this live is being recorded for YouTube. I'm gonna let y'all know that right now. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, no, this is the norm. Yeah, no, this is the norm. That's, that's the that, boys. They about to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah the vibes. Hold on. <laughs> that's the norm over here, oh guy. But like I said, we had this. We had this in plans for y'all. The the first live that we recorded. Um, me personally, I wasn't able to screen record it, so that's my fault. But this one definitely, you know what I'm saying, be tapped in. But. Like I said, for the most part, for everybody that's tuned in, we definitely appreciate it. Um, we always gonna have more lives for y'all, you know what I'm saying? We, Me, personally, I don't do the social media stuff, OD, you know what I'm saying? Y'all already know right. Coach Davis don't, don't like Instagram and stuff like that, so. But, um, that's that. Now, anybody that is new to this senior retention shit, because I know sometimes you get tired of talking about senior retention over and over and over. But understanding that it's a it's a lifestyle change, so, so of course you're gonna talk about it because you made this lifestyle change. Why wouldn't you want to talk about it, right? Anybody that's that's brand new to the journey, stay focused. Stay yo, Word. yo. Word. It's one of the best things you can do for yourself as a male point break period. You understand what I'm saying? There's no amount of outside source. That you're gonna get that's gonna make you feel good the way that you feel good while holding on to your sexual energy. Now you talking to a man that's been having sex since the age of 14. We're gonna really talk about it. You know what I'm saying? I've been having sex since I was 14 years old. I'll be honest with y'all. I've been watching porn since I was probably Yo, if you told these niggas your body count, these niggas will bug out. Like I bugged out with you. Yo, put bro, me on. I wouldn't you yeah, I wouldn't go there, David. I wouldn't go there, bro. I wouldn't go there. But needless to say though, you feel me? I've been watching porn since I was like 10. We're going to keep it real, 10, 11 ish. And it was always second nature to me to literally release my energy every day. You understand what I'm saying? When, you, when you're young and you're viewing these things, you don't know no better. You don't know no better. You understand what I'm saying? And if you don't have parental guidance, at least like with your parents that's really like on your ass about these things, what? You ain't got no more better. The internet is, is the, everybody got access to it. You understand what I'm saying? What we trying to do now as men is teach the generation that's after us. You understand what I'm saying? That y'all don't want to get stuck into this cycle. Y'all don't want to get stuck into this mindset of watching Nigga. porn, y'all. That shit eat you alive, bro. Shit. You understand what I'm like, saying? Like, that shit will literally swallow you, bro. L yo, bro, it'll literally destroy your self-image. It'll literally destroy your character. You understand? It'll, it'll destroy your inside. You're killing yourself. Every time you, you know, know what I want to mention, I want to piggyback yeah. off what you just said. The algorithm is made to swallow you. Like right. every algorithm you click on, like if you click on a feet picture on the explore page on the fucking um, Instagram and you scroll down, it's mad feet pictures, right. mad feet pictures. You just in a hole of feet pictures. Now you go over here, you click on shorty and she got on the sundress. She, you know what I'm saying? Took just a pretty picture, whatever. You scrolling down, it's a bunch of bitches that's look, trying to look pretty, that's trying to look bad, thing. bending over, doing all. And then on porn, though, it's the same shit. You go to a category, let's say big ass, whatever the fuck. Now you keep scrolling, scrolling, it's so a whole bunch of big yeah. ass. Like That's the thing, though. <laughs> you, got, you got to think like this, right? It's bad enough that as humans, we got to already pay for everything in life, right? Might as well fucking pay to breathe. But porn is free. That's terrible. My question That's terrible is why? that we have that quick of access, bro, to watch other people have sex or masturbate or do whatever, right? It's that fast. So 
when you when you challenge yourself as a man or a female, because the female is in this chat too, when you challenge yourself, fuck it as a human. To not do what the ninety nine percent of people are doing, you will always feel better, no matter what. It's not to feel like you're superior than somebody, but you, your mindset is different throughout this experience. I feel like. I feel like God makes people change, bro, for a reason. Whether you believe in God or not. You know what I'm saying? For those that, that believe in the most high. No, for sure. The most high is gonna make you change for a reason. You understand what I'm saying? That, and that's that's just what it is. Like you gotta you gotta mm. want to change. You gotta get out your fucking way, yeah, bro. You gotta want that change, bro. Like you I know, was just thinking to myself, like how you know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm one of those dudes, like I challenge God and the devil to test me, to right. try to break me. Right. Because I know if somebody's trying to break you, if you don't break, you're only going to grow. You're only going to grow. It's only going to build your character. And in society nowadays, bro, it's a lot of us men that's broken inside, right? But we still growing. We still, like, you got to stay strong. You got to stay mentally strong. You got to stay emotionally sane in this shit. Because Terrence, yo, bro, we're going we gonna to really talk about it, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm not perfect. I'm not. I'm not perfect. Just because y'all see me post YouTube content and y'all see me work out and all that shit, I'm. A, I'm human, just like you. I'm not perfect. Terrence has his flaws. Terrence has his anger problems. Terrence has his fucking past that he needs to that that he can't that he has to stop thinking about over and over and over. I can't take nothing. That's, back. A, that's that PTSD. I go through that a day too. You feel me? And and that's that's real. You know what I'm saying? So I could walk around with it with a straight face all day. But at the end of the day, you don't know what's going through my mind. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you don't know. You don't, you don't know what I'm going through. That's 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 where I'm telling myself, like, yo, T, how are we going to get to the next day? Because tomorrow's promise to nobody. You understand what I'm saying? How are we going to improve into a better version of ourselves no matter what the fuck we've been through in our past? That shit is, is, it is what it is, bro. Like, bro, I can't take nothing back. I done been kicked out of college. I done been arrested before, bro. This shit didn't happen in my life. You feel me? Real, real nigga shit. You should tell them about you know that. I really, I really speak on it. So my college situation, I'll speak on it. So I've been to, I've been to two colleges, right? I graduated high school, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, 2012, whatever case may be. And um, 2013, I went to SUNY Canton. Now, when I went to SUNY Canton, you know what I'm saying? I'm young. I'm 18. I got freedom. I got freedom. You give me freedom. It's lit. You feel me? So when I'm first in college, it's, it's you know, you're doing the things you're not supposed to do. The partying, the smoking, the drinking, the, the, you know what I'm saying? You're missing classes. You're bullshitting yourself. You understand what I'm saying? For any of those that's, that's that's never been to college or that's starting to go to college, bro, do what you got to do in school. Don't waste your bread. Don't waste your time going to school if you're not going to stay focused. You understand what I'm saying? You got, you got to stay something. focused. I wasn't – my first semester, I was not focused in college. I keep it real, child. I failed six classes, and we're going to really talk about it. I don't care. You feel me? I failed six classes. I was bullshitting in college. My second semester, I had to get on my shit. They put me on academic probation. That was a reality check. Man, you paying for school, bro. Stay focused. You understand right. what I'm saying? So, my second You was semester, coming out of pocket with that shit? Yo, bro, like we gonna keep it real. I had, I had um, like, the financial aid. You know what I'm saying? They gave me financial aid and all that. So, oh, uh, my second semester, towards, towards, we can say October, right? We can say October, November. Mm -hmm. I go to a party off campus, right? I go to a, par I go to a party with three of my bros, right? Let me tell y'all something right now. Watch who you keep around you, number one. And number two... If niggas is going to ride out for you, they're going to ride out for you. But if they not, then they not. You feel me? It is what it is. The type of nigga I am, if I go somewhere with somebody and somebody fuck with y'all and I'm with y'all, I'm going to make sure y'all good because I'm with y'all. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not letting nobody disrespect nobody that I'm with, bro. Niggas be trying right. to act tough and don't be tough, bro. Like, let's really talk about it. So, boom, I go to the party off campus. I went my bro. For me, my bro, Mikey. Boom. My boy gets into an altercation. I go make sure my boy is good, whatever the case may be. I, I, cause some nigga was wilding. Like it was, it was after the party. It was after the party. Party was lit. After the party, nigga wild. Nigga was on some drunk shit. Nigga was on some drunk shit. Oh, everybody from SUNY K, SMD. You know niggas don't play that, bro. Like yeah, who, bro. Who, who, who you talking to? So niggas is like, who, who is he talking to? You feel me? Right. So Mikey go over there, go for me, holla at the nigga. I go over there, make sure Mikey straight, whatever, cool. The it's a big ass crowd, right? It's a big ass circle of the crowd. The cop pepper sprays the area. So when the cop pepper sprays the area, he's trying to clear the area out. The mist of the pepper spray hits him in my eye. So when I got hit with the pepper spray, I started bugging because I it started burning like instantly, right? Nah, yeah, that shit is terrible. So I'm like, yo, I, I can't see. I can't see. This time the third. 
So when I get mad, what I usually do, like a high head, is I take my shirt off. I don't know why, but I, I just do it, right? <laughs> oh, my, you, bro. Up upstate, bro, it's mad cold, bro. I'm in Potsdam, bro. Potsdam, New York. Nine hours away. I'm far. I'm not close to home. I'm far. Mm -hmm. So it's mad cold. I'm wild. Like, yo, I can't see. Do -do -do. So, boom. They had their car parked outside. So I go to the, I see the officer, right? I see the officer. I say, yo, officer, you probably spray me. So he's ignoring me. So I'm like, bet. I got something for y'all. See the car parked outside. I go try to punch out their window. As I try to punch it out, somebody, some girl grabbed my arm. She's like, yo, Terrence, chill, chill, chill. Ah, right, ah. Right. I'm like, nah, like, I just got a pepper spray. You chill. Like, you wildin'. So as I turn around, the cop is behind me. Like, a pepper spray me again. Boom. Pepper spray me. Both things. In my face and in my mouth. So I'm like, oh. So now I really can't see. I can't breathe. I can't see. So I'm, feel me? I try to walk away a little bit. As I walk away, I turn around. As I turn around, I put my hands in and I ask the cop. I say, you want to fight? Mind you, I can't see. But I'm mm -hmm. still asking. I'm like, yo, what's up? You want to fight? So he like, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? He comes with me with the pressure again. I'm like, yo, what's up? So boom. And I put my hands up. Feel me? So I just put my hands up. I hear an officer behind me. And he like, this the one we was looking for. So I'm like, oh. He grabbed my arm, put me in the cuffs, took me to their truck, slammed me. Boom, slam me, man hard. So I turned my face, bro, on God, everybody had their phones out, bro. I said, yo, Weirdo bro. Weirdo niggas, bro. That world star shit, like. Yo, bro, everybody had their like, phones out. Like, let a nigga, like, if I'm trying to fight somebody, a nigga pull a phone out trying to record. Yeah. Nigga, what are you doing, bro? Like, that's, none that's of that camera tight, shit, bro. bro. That, so these bro. niggas is weird with that camera shit, bro. bro, bro. bro. So, boom, right? Nick put me in the cop car, whatever, whatever, whatever. He drives around. He arrested seven of us that night, bro. Seven of us got arrested that night. Whatever. They took us to the, like, the, the little precinct thing. And um, they questioned us, whatever, whatever, whatever. Had us in there for, like, at least, like, two, three hours. They fingerprinted me and took my picture. I never in life thought that I was ever going to get a mugshot, bro. I was like, nah, this is real. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, long story short, the cabin there for three hours. They let us go. As they let us go. I get back to campus, everybody questioning, yo, why are you trying to fight the cop? This, that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. Bro, I got pepper sprayed, bro. And you know, like, when you got a little bit of lick in your system, you know you're not in your right state of mind. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So You did what Black like, Lives Matter punk ass supposed to be doing. <laughs> so, <laughs> he was like, nah. So, boom, I get a knock on the door two days later. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, yo, who, who knocking on my door like that? I open the door. It's a lady from the from the campus. It's it's from the office. She like, oh, you have forty five minutes to get all of your stuff. You just been this. God damn, that's crazy. I said, miss. I said, where am I going? Like, I got forty five minutes to go home. I don't have no money to get home. And mind ya, I'm gonna keep it real time. My moms didn't know what happened. I didn't call my moms. I didn't I didn't tell her what happened because I was hanging. I was scared. I'm like, I'm in school. Like, I don't want my moms to know I got arrested. You feel me? So then I had to tell her. Ma, I got arrested, this had a third, blah, blah, blah. So then, feel me? Me being me. I'm like, hey, about to catch me. What are you talking about? Man? Okay, I stayed on campus. Hey, I can't. Long story short, I stayed on campus. Blah, blah, wait on campus, baby. I stayed in the back of the streets. Boom. Then I had, um, I had, like, the meeting with the officers in the school, like, um, people in the school. Long story short, they dismissed me, basically saying, like, the officer's police report was too accurate. He was already on academic probation, so they didn't kick me out of college. So then they put the poster up and told him, told, like, with my face on it, and said, do not allow on campus. I was like, what? Like, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. So then I had to go home. Um, I went home, like, after the meeting, you know what I'm saying? I called my mom and told her, I just want to go home. Because they gave me two more days to stay. I said, nah, I just want to leave. Went home. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to front, bro. From, 20, from the end of 20, 2013 to the couple months 2014, I high key was depressed. Because... I got kicked out. You was out disappointed in yourself. I was OD disappointed in myself, and that's wasted mm -hmm. money. You right. understand what I'm saying? And then my mom was disappointed in myself. Like, yeah, I sent her away to right. school. Yeah. My grandmother was alive at the time, so she was disappointed in me, too. You feel me? And you know, like, mom, dude, as soon as you went to college, she was telling everybody. Was, yeah, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Because that's an accomplishment yeah. for some people. Like, yeah. it's not for everybody, though. I tell you that right now. It's not for everybody. You feel nah, me? Because sure I, I don't plan on going back to school. Like, People like my, a lot of people in my ear about it, being that I'm 26 now, and it's like, yo, you want you need to get your certification or you do personal training, but 
I personally don't want to spend money in school ever again, bro. I feel like it's a scam. Right. If I go to school, I'm going to trade school. Go to trade school, bro. Learn to trade. I want to be a mechanic or something. Bro. Like, Word. Die, bro. Like, but um, besides that, though, like I said, I've been to two two colleges. Um, I went to Dutchess Community College after that in 2015. Right. You and, was um, hooping or you just was like on I go front. Shit. See, with the hooping stuff, I actually made the team, right? But my attitude so, fucked me up. My coach. attitude. My attitude, yeah. I mean, so it don't got, always be attitude. Like, now, I'm gonna tell them, you, them coaches do be on some extra shit. Like, favoritism. That favoritism. too, though. That's, I feel like every coach is like that. And I and I and I peeped it from the from the jump because I like they. You know how they got to recruit you, recruit players. This and the third. Yeah. But you letting the recruits come to practice an hour late and thirty minutes late, and you got us people that's not being recruited actually getting practice on time, and you still not saying nothing to them. Understand? You got to focus on yourself. But it's like when you see it, it's garbage. Yeah. You feel me? And then the coach told me, like, yo, you're one of the best shooters on the team, if not the best shooter that we have, because I ain't going to fry. I got the clip, bro. Like, mm -hmm. I can shoot. I was always undersized, but I was I can shoot. You feel me? And if I would have had, because I always, that was my accomplishment. That was one of my goals, matter of fact, like, or a dream of mine, to make a college basketball team. Yeah, cool, I wanted it, to go to the NBA, right, because boy was life and shit, but I was undersized. And NBA's politics and all that crazy shit. You feel me? So it was like, cool, you you at college. I was, I was at a JUCO. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You had a Juco, bro. You somewhere. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, you hooping. You mm -hmm. you what you to do. And then you fuck it up with the attitude. So, once again, I can't be blaming nobody but myself. You feel me? Like, all, bro, all my fuck up in, in life, bro, I can't blame nobody. Like, if I would You know what it is? Up, we wasn't taught how to maneuver in these situations. They just get yeah. thrown in our fucking face. And then we gotta just, you know what I'm saying? However we react is normally That's how we react. We we tie we we tie ourselves up because we just was uneducated and ignorant to how to communicate, how to Very. deal with negative energy, shit like Very. that. Mm -hmm. And we was never aware, like when I tell you, bro, I really like my moms would tell me like, yeah, your attitude is terrible, and I wouldn't care as a teenager. Like I would just be like, nah, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. But let me tell you right now, like for those of y'all, like. That have bad attitudes, work on that shit before it destroy you, my nigga, in the long run. Like, take it from me, bro. I don't, I have bad anger, so I'll be punching shit. Look at my hand. I'll show ya. I'll be punching shit. When I say shit, I mean items, bro. Glasses, doors, fucking anything I can see. When I'm angry and I fit and I have rage, I wanna punch something. That's what makes me feel better. But you gotta learn how to, like, one, I gotta outgrow that shit. I'm speaking to y'all, but I'm speaking to myself as well. You gotta learn how to outgrow it. Because I don't want my anger and my attitude to have me in jail or dead, bro. We gonna keep it real. Real, my nigga. Because my bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, he he just got arrested and he doing about yeah. 10 years. And he young, man. He about to do about 10 years because it was a little altercation he had mm -hmm. with somebody. And Dwayne Reed, a uh, gun was pulled out and somebody wow. got shot. Because of the argument, you feel me? Wow. Shit went left real quick, and now homie doing ten years. Ten years, bro. Ten years of your life just taken, just like, just like that, bro. Just mm -hmm. like that. So it's like, it's like you got to pay attention to the situation, but you got to pay attention to yourself. Cause you, like you can be your own self destruction in this life, bro. Like you can literally be the one to fuck your whole life up. Like you, mm -hmm. not not him, not her, you. You understand what I'm saying? But. We going to get into the, the question that I got you, bro. The, the question. All right, bro. My fault, bro. We be... Bro, you nah, we having a good conversation. You got a convo, bro, bro. <laughs> Feel me? Our convo be, be lit, bro. And I, I appreciate everybody that's still tuned in. I ain't going to lie. Oh, 14, 15, you with 16, whoever here. I appreciate that. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. So, um... All right, let me see. We going to start off with this. <clears throat> For anybody that's viewing this video... Understand the importance of holding on to your sexual energy. Mm -hmm. Let's really talk about it. So, my question to you is, is, what do you feel is the importance, number one, of sexual energy, meaning like how important do you feel like it is because some people don't pay attention to it? And what do you feel is, secondly, what do you feel is the importance of actually like <clears throat> control, like keeping control of it? You feel me? It's a difference between like, Saying to yourself, I don't want to have sex ever again, but then you lying to yourself. And the difference saying, I don't I just don't want to have sex like right now, right now. So having that kind of discipline just puts you on a whole nother level. Right. And especially imagine you get you a girl or some shit, you tell her straight up, like, or you ain't even have to tell her, you could just do it. I might have sex and you might just 
bust her shit and she busts and you don't. Mm -hmm. And I had sex before and, and, and it went down like that before semen retention though. And I remember she was so confused. She was looking at me like, she was like, you ain't come? I was like, nah. Mm -hmm. She was like, you want me to give you head or something? She was just like mad, like ready to, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. she really was just like, she, you could tell she felt like she needed to make me bust. Yeah. And then as soon as you get her to understand what your grind is and why you're doing what you're doing, after you accomplish something like that too, mm -hmm. the respect level she's going to have to you is going to be crazy. First of all, I feel like it's women out here that feel like a dude that watches porn, that's cheating. Right. Like, I've seen some videos on YouTube where dudes do pranks like that. Like, there'd be a, there'd be a prank of, like, as soon as she walk in, he pretend like he was just beating off and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Soon as she walk in, I seen every joint. She, like, damn near lose her fucking mind. She, like, oh, wow. Why are you doing that if you got me? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, like, going they, crazy. They get insecure, and they get that defense mechanism up. Yeah. So that goes <laughs> to show how women, like your girlfriend, may feel about that. Because a lot of these girlfriends don't even know their boyfriends is struggling with this, porn yeah. addiction. Like, my girlfriend didn't know I was going through that while I was with her for three years. Mm -hmm. Every time she wasn't with me, I was watching porn. Like, now, the piggyback, I never, uh -huh. piggyback on that. What advice do you have for the for the for the ones that say we could watch it together. What you mean watch it together? Like so you, know how you, you and your girl type shit? Like, yeah, like, we, we, yo, bro, there's females that really be telling, like, they partner, like, they could watch the porn together and, like, have sex while the porn is on. Or Yo, I like, heard like, some shit like that, For real, too. bro. For real, for real. Yo, I, I heard a story of a nigga, like, the girl was dumb tight. Like, she sent, it was, like, this YouTube channel where they do, like, they uh questions and answers like they might send a question through the email mm -hmm. and they got to answer it in the video so uh, basically she was saying how when they was having sex she noticed like homie put in the missionary only because the tv was right in front of him and he wanted to continue wow. to look at the porn while he was busting he was looking at he wasn't even looking at her he was, he was looking, looking at, at the porn, porn while he was that's terrible bro that's terrible, like. Wow, like you know how bad he made himself look by doing. Like he looked at like a creep. I know he did to her. She probably was looking at him like, "What the fuck?" This, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, people shouldn't feel that okay with it. Now, I personally feel as if, if you know damn well in your right mind, you're not gonna sit there in real life and watch two people have sex and masturbate in front of them. You know that you're not going to do that. Why would you do it behind closed doors? You know what I mean? Or, <clears throat> and granted, we ain't perfect. We all, we all been, <clears throat> been through this struggle. But there comes a point in time where enough is enough, and there comes a point in time where you really got to tell yourself, I'm just tired of this. I'm tired of it. Like, what are you, what, what am I gaining? What, what are you gaining from watching it over and over and over and over you're getting the little dopamine rush bro you're getting the little tiny dopamine rush that make you feel good in that in that moment you understand what i'm saying but you turn it off right away mm. I, I i i say it over and over because it's so much facts like even when females that even with females that masturbate yeah it can feel good but all you're doing is desensitizing your clitoris right. And it goes even deeper than that, too. Like, like the obsession that men That's have with women, like, we really got to do. Like, it, it, like, I don't even think women even realize how obsessed us men are with, like, with them, them. Yeah. their body. They ain't gonna front. They, at, they don't even know. Now, you got you got to be thinking about it, right? Like, because you know us men, we're, we're visualizers, right? We, we got to see. So, once you start watching this porn shit, you'll really start to realize how beautiful females really are. Like, they, there's something that are really fucking beautiful and you be like nah you nah, really are really. beautiful you feel me and you're yeah. not just on some hey, I'm lustful over you nah it's like now nah, God really took his time with you type shit you understand what I'm saying but you got a lot of dudes that just see the lust and, and I, don't get me wrong fellas don't get me wrong like yo talking to her while I was a thot okay <laughs> like, alright we gonna talk about it I was thotty T I, yo, a girl gave me that nickname. Shout out to her. What you talking about? Shout out to her. But, <laughs> Philly, I was thotty T, bro. And it's like, mm -mm. I don't, I don't want, I don't want people to, to, to perceive me as that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I know how to control myself. 
Which, I, can I ask you a question quickly. about that? Because yeah, me personally, I live the exact opposite of like the life you live. Like, yeah. I wasn't really out there sexually at all. So I yeah. guess some would say I didn't get to get it out of my system. Me personally, I only got like five bodies. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people probably wouldn't believe me, but a couple women in those body in that body count, I probably fucked oh, maybe a thousand times. But I guess it? that makes up for it. But <laughs> 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 but you live the exact opposite of that. Yeah. So like, what's the mentality you feel like you have that you are learning from now? Of like, you just you get a joint. You might be cracking it for a little while, then you like, you know what, this shit boring. Then you go get another joint. Like, yeah, like, all right, let me tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now, right? Number one, a lot of the times when us men we try to catch bodies, right? We call it bodies, right? You're in competition with your ego. You're in competition with with some bullshit, right? Because you start to all you want to do is you want the pleasure. You want the pleasure. You want the pleasure. And same thing for females, because they gonna know that they want to have sex with you before anything. Before anything, they do their little scan and they gonna know. You feel me? Immediately. But at the end of the day, you gotta you gotta learn that number one, like when you're having sex, like I told y'all in the last live, it's literally so ties, right? So you could you could have sex with a girl, pay attention to how you feel after, and if your mood is off, there's some type of soul ties that she had in her body that transmuted to you. Her energy transmuted to you. So now you getting how she felt. You Especially if y'all was kissing and all of that, yeah. All of, any any type of sexual connection you'll have, whether it be kissing, whether it be touching, whether it be any type of physical, because everything is energy. You understand what I'm saying? So when you're constantly like going after girl after girl after girl after girl, bro, you're not really fucking satisfying nothing. You're not satisfying nothing. You're just looking at it as I feel like I'm the man because I got this amount of body, bro. You're not the man. And I had to tell myself that, like, it's good for females to want you, bro. That shit feel great. That shit feels mm -hmm. amazing. You shit me? Like, I'm not going to tell you that shit don't feel amazing. It feels amazing. But understand that there comes a point in time where you're going to actually want to chill the fuck out and settle down. Ch like, it's, it's, in this reality. Well, let's, let's talk about the dangers of settling yeah, this, down this, with this, the this, wrong one. All right, this, this is what I was going to say. This is what I was going to say, bro. Pay attention to, once you get your energy right and once you, you know, you, you learn, you learn to love yourself and all that shit. Pay attention to any female you have around you, because a lot of these pretty females be having bad energy attached to them, and we're gonna really talk about it. You feel me? A lot of them are very insecure within themselves. Superman, a lot of them don't love themselves, and they bro. Front. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So if she not loving herself, you automatically fuck. Her energy not right within, so it's never gonna be right. On the outside, she's not gonna give you that energy. So I don't have some females tell me and she can't give you something she don't have. And she don't have. I don't have. I don't have plenty of females tell me you're too good. There's no nah. in my in my eyes and in my book. There's no such thing as too good. I feel like yeah. everybody got something to work on, bro. Everybody, every single person on planet. But you know what that is too. Me personally, like shit like that annoys me because that's bullshit. Like when a female OD. tell me some shit like that, OD. I be like, I know what you're trying to do. You just want some validation. You want me to tell you why you worth what you worth and uh, you worth being with me, whatever. Like they just want to hear that shit, bro. Yeah. But at the end of the day, bro, you have to make sure her energy is straight because if you fuck with the with the wrong female, bro. Excuse me. It'll put you into problems and situations that you don't need to be in. It'll have you fucked up up here. It'll have you feel like you ain't good enough. It'll have you feeling less of a fucking man. Because at the end of the day, bro, like you like like you were saying before, right? A lot a lot of us men, a, a lot of men in general do shit to satisfy females. Just like females be doing shit to satisfy niggas, bro. Everybody do shit to satisfy everybody besides satisfying themselves. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Once again, we're gonna back out. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna back, backtrack to the validation part. Everybody want to be validated by everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Like, stop trying to focus too much on that. Stop trying to focus yeah. on being validated from, from others. Validate yourself. Once your energy is right within yourself, her energy is right within, her, within herself, y'all will automatically connect. It's no coincidences to anything. But if the energy ain't right, she's going to be bad for you. For you. You understand what I'm saying? And if your energy ain't right, you're going to be bad for her. Because it's just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Like look, me saying? piggybacking off energy, like when you learn to get in your own vibe, like that too. that's, that's too. the whole point of really a relationship. Like right. she gonna have something that she could feed off of 
and then you could feed off her vibe that she Yo, earned bro. for herself through Say having self love. You feel me? Like when you Say when you got louder. your own vibe, people could feed off of your vibe, and that's where the love come from. That's where the that's where the Holy. connection really could build that, and that's where the Third. foundation and uh, empire could be built after that. Because now you got your vibe, she got her vibe, and y'all could grow from there. Yeah, I understand. But most people don't have their own vibe. They either trying to be like another nigga or mm -hmm. trying to be in competition with this nigga. Mm -hmm. or, you know what I'm saying? Like, Let me tell you right now. Let me tell you right now, right? Because what you're saying is, is jewels, OD. Number one, once you got, once you, once you in your element, right? Can I call it, I call it, in your glow, right? Like, I could tell when somebody in their glow. Like, you in your glow. I'm loving it. Once you in your glow, and you see somebody else in their glow, y'all will never, like, y'all will mesh perfectly. Like, there's no such thing as perfection, but y'all will mesh, because y'all y'all both in y'all glow. Like, y'all y'all vibing. Y'all entering each, other wor each other's world on a higher fucking vibration. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's different, but you will know you will know. It won't. Nothing will be forced. The vibe will just be there. You and it's gonna like, be the hardest thing to explain. You it just is. Know when you know. Like. You, when you know, you know, bro. When you know, you know. And when you know that it ain't, it ain't it. It ain't it. This, For sure. When you feel like you gotta force something, it's not it. When you feel like try. you gotta force convo. When you feel like you gotta force communication, linking up. When you feel like you gotta force anything, leave it alone. Yeah. That's why these women be putting themselves at a disadvantage doing all of this. This uh uh. The push pull shit. Yeah. Where they, they like might fuck with you for a little while. It might be a day bit. where she yeah. hits you back in she like five watches. minutes, thirty minutes, she she you back, all that. But then it's gonna be another day where you're not gonna hear from her for like a couple days or mad hours, mm -hmm. maybe at the end of the day, cause she was so called busy. busy. But like they try to tell women, you gotta make it seem like you're busy so he don't think that you being too thirsty. All this bullshit, and, and, bro. And all that is is perception. Like all that I don't wanna look thirsty. Listen. If you genuinely like a person, bro, stop worrying about looking thirsty. If they fuck with you and they genuinely like you, then the connection is there. Stop focusing. Cause what you worry about other people? Oh, y'all look thirsty together. Shut up. Like y'all be like people be worried about the wrong shit and then wonder why things don't work because you're so focused on looking a certain type of way instead of just letting things flow and just vibing, letting it naturally happen. All that looking thirsty shit, bro. I don't be caring about none of that. If I like you, I like you. If I, I'm gonna show you attention. Exactly. You know I mean? That's that's just what it is. Like I'm not here to fake nothing, bro. That's that's corny. That's mad corny, bro. People mm -hmm. trying to fake in this reality. Shit, whack. That shit is weird as hell, yeah. too. Like like it's funny because like <laughs> when you in your own vibe and you could tell somebody's not, so they follow these red pill rules that these niggas teach them, like not how to look thirsty, how to look alpha. They don't even realize how fucking stupid they look. Stupid, like bro. trying to pretend to do all of this shit that's not them. They look crazy. Say like, that again, bro. No, it, say like that old... again, bro. Please. please <laughs> like, they don't bro, even please, know, bro. bro. Like, oh, know... yeah, fucking. Wait, wait. Like, as soon oh, as you yeah, catch right... on to this shit, you like, oh, that's what you're doing? All right. Yo, yo hold on, David. Yo, all y'all Red Pill channels that may be watching this video, if y'all watch this video on YouTube, stop. Y'all got us. Y'all sound like a whole bunch of heartbroken men. It's old. Yo, bro, it's okay, <laughs> hey, bro. It's all right. <laughs> y'all sound like y'all got your heart broke years ago, and y'all want to bash females on the internet all day, but y'all still be nailing them. So what's the point of bashing them if y'all still cracking, bro? Yeah. And Make my thing is this, sense. too. Like, you Make telling these sense. niggas how to talk to women, but we don't ever get to see you operate, though. <laughs> like, like bro, can we see oh how you God, operate bro. in the field, homie? Like, we ain't never seen you operate yeah, in the field. Oh, and then know. and then when these niggas do operate in the field, you'll notice like a nigga go to a place with a bunch of bitches is drunk and shit. Like she drunk as hell, you flirting with her. Like, nigga, that's easy, bro. That's easy, yeah. She not the she not how they say. Oh, what the fuck? I got drink, get a little race drunk. Race. Her pussy's already wet thinking about mm -hmm. the nigga yeah, that she oh, could bullshit. be fucking with right now, who she <laughs> might text on some drunk text shit. Fact, you fact, feel what fact. I'm saying? Like she already that's in the fact. mood. So you niggas that's ain't fact. doing nothing, bro. But these red pill chatters, bro. They sound like they gonna be lonely forever, and they tell you not to believe in them whole marriage shit, bro. Long story short, bro, shut the fuck up with these red pill bullshit. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Terrence said it, nigga. TC, I said it. Fuck you talking about, bro. Shut up <laughs> with the bullshit. Let niggas take their own advice. Be yourself, bro. She will fuck with you for being you. You don't have to be nobody that you're not. She's gonna bro. automatically peep that, and then you're gonna fuck it up for yourself, bro. 
Like sometimes what these niggas don't realize, sometimes the corniest jokes are the funniest ones. Bro, all you got, yo, bro, make her laugh, feed her some food, give her good energy, make sure she's comfortable, because a lot of y'all niggas don't make sure these girls is comfortable, bro. Y'all bugging. Make sure she's comfortable, bro. Open her fucking mind. Ask her a question, bro. My next vibe is about to be, like, the next shorty I vibe with, bro, it's going to be a great vibe, and I'm going to speak it into existence. I, I got my eyes, like, for me, but... We only got and the importance of asking questions and having an intellectual conversation is you get to see how That's smart important. she is. And if That's she's important. not smart, you're going to be turned off immediately. Immediately. Because immediately. If, you, if you're not open-minded, it's quiet. I ain't going to lie. It's quiet. Like, you can't, you can't, in reality of life, you can't be one mind, one-minded. one You feel me? You got to be an open thinker. You understand what I'm saying? The more that you're open thinker, the more that you're able to learn the person. Learn who y'all be fucking with. Y'all got to learn these people just like you You should want somebody to learn you because you deserve that type of energy. You understand what I'm saying? But once y'all, if, if y'all don't take the time out to learn these people that y'all dealing with, y'all going to keep coming across the wrong people over and over and over and over again because y'all not learning them. You're not learning them. Just learn them. You feel me? All right, let me see. I got another question. All right, let's do it. All right, let me see. <clears throat> what do... Hold on. Woo! Oh, this is a good question. My foot. Why do men buy OnlyFans? <laughs> Yo, let's talk about Only Motherfucking Fans, bro. Yo. First Yo, of why all, do they buy it, bro? Yo, first of all, let me tell let me tell you this. These women don't even realize that they don't even own the rights to their content. Do you know that? Like, do you know if a nigga like let's say for instance, I buy her content. And I have a Pornhub account, mm -hmm. like to where I post content on Pornhub, like maybe for, you know, braises, whatever the fuck. Now, I buy her OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. Now, all I got to do is screen record that shit. That's and it. I could post it on Pornhub. And these thirsty ass niggas that want to see all that freaky ass shit from their favorite fucking Instagram model, they don't give a fuck if it's screen recorded because mm -hmm. you still see her ass and pussy. <laughs> You feel me? So, bro, like, they, they don't even own their content. Like, these porn hubs, like, they be doing that shit. I know they be doing that shit. Because they don't own it. As soon as you buy it, it's damn near yours. You can do whatever you want with it. You say, bro. Right. I feel like... First of all, <clears throat> porn is already free. Right? Word. Second of all, because you got the... You don't have the females that say, don't worry about it, let her get her money. And then you got a nigga say, don't worry about it, let them get their money. Y'all don't even want to do that shit. They don't. Because they want to pay for it. Like equivalent like to the strippers. Y'all wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Y'all got to learn how to stop being so fucking thirsty for attention. And stop doing so much for fucking money, bro. It's a fucking piece of paper that's printed over and Let over Let me tell you what's over, about to bro. happen. I got a prediction. So. Sit down. That's what's going to happen. This feminist but, shit. All of these feminist women are going to go crazy on OnlyFans. Oh, because all of this I don't need a man shit, OnlyFans is giving them that platform to do that. Mm -hmm. It's women making 100K, 50K, going crazy. You, you got to look at the name, OnlyFans. So y'all niggas is fans of these females, bro. Literally. Y'all literally fans, and y'all paying these girls to watch them masturbate and watch them have sex, and y'all not even crabbing. Yo, bro. Niggas paying $50 a that. month for real. Bro, I got I got bills to focus on. I got to help mama love out. I got to focus on myself. What the fuck do I look like subscribing to somebody's channel? 50 a month? Pay? That's a that's somebody's fault, bro. That's food. Nigga, you got to eat. You want to eat? You, how, how, like, how, I want to see one of these. Like, I want to find out who. Like, I want to look at that nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who Yo, made David. you? Like, what the fuck? Yo, who's David. your people's? Who's your homies? Like, what type of nigga? Like, who, Yo, what David, the fuck? David, a nigga gonna have a month, bro. Lunch. He got to eat lunch. The only fans gonna take his money out there. I was like, how he gonna be tight? Nigga. Only fans took your lunch money, bro. Word, because you ain't even got it like that to be paying no damn fifty dollars a month. Niggas These be niggas wild, crazy. bro. Like only fans, bro. For listen, man, y'all gotta stop. Y'all, I'm not having no daughter. I, I'm not having no daughter. When I have a kid in life, I'm not having a daughter, bro. Cause she ain't. ain't I'm gonna keep it real. Daughter. I don't want to have a daughter. Yeah, like it's, yeah, bro. I feel like, yo, bro, it's like... The you can't control no woman, bro. Not even no, a father. You can't. You can't. Once her you pussy start getting wet, bro. she's gone forever. 
it's 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 over, bro. And I and I had to learn that shit. Like, bro, you literally can't control the bro. They out of control, bro. They out of control. They might not see it, but these, uh, not all of them, but a lot of females are out of fucking control. Maybe having it like rebellious ways, or like I could do what I want because you know Dude, what I'm saying. And all this shit, like, just be a female and chill because all them, all you doing is you going to sleep with yourself at night and be mad at yourself for all the shit that you got to do just to make a dollar. It's not that deep. Yo, you got to think about how dangerous Fuck. that is, though. Like, if you're right. acting on Niggas emotion... Niggas be perverts, bro. That too. Niggas be real-life perverts, no, bro. for real. So you got to understand that shit. These yeah. niggas is creeps. Creeps, bro. Creeps. Wow. So you having creeps. They don't even know that. Like, they don't even understand how they the not, level they, of yo, creep they like they these they niggas are. They not thinking of it that way. Like, they don't they, know who they giving their content at to. At all. They don't have at no all, idea who they, who's at watching this shit. At all, bro. They just looking at it as views and money. Views and money. Like, it's literally niggas... That go to hotels. No, no, no. It's niggas that be in a room and they got a computer right here posted up somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then they got a TV over here and a monitor over here. Fact, and they got their chair, they lotion, they fucking shit. They might have candles lit and they're gonna watch your going video crazy. and masturbate. And going, like, why yo, would they, you wanna make content for the, a, a person like that? Oh, bro. Like, like, bro, what? And you making what? content for these niggas? Like, that's, I don't know, bro. I feel like one day OnlyFans gonna shut down, and it's not to be, it's not to sound hating because they getting money. At the end of the day, bro, I don't, I don't condone it. Right. I don't. And money it. don't make you solid, real, you official. Don't. Money don't mean shit. Your inner spirit is what make you solid. Your inner spirit is your real you, literally. That's that's just who you are. It is what it is. What it is. All right, I got another, I got another question. Right. Um, I think I asked you, I think I asked you this in the last live, but I'll ask it again just because. Um, so far, you know what I'm saying? What what has, you know, seen my attention? What has the journey itself, you know, taught you? And, and what advice do you have for those that may doubt semen retention? If you doubt semen retention, go 30 days and relapse. There's no way that you're not going to feel the difference. Because mm -hmm. I remember my first streak, I went 45 days and I busted and I felt it immediately. Like, it was the weirdest thing that ever happened to me in my life. Like, it, like literally, as I was cleaning up, like a dumbass, after the dumb shit I just did, I felt it immediately. Mm -hmm. Like, it was weird as fuck. Like, I felt... I felt like I was in a new consciousness. Like, I started seeing shit. Bro, I don't even know how to fucking explain it, but it's creepy. It's creepy, bro. Real <laughs> shit. And, like, and, and it happens every time you relapse. Like, mm -hmm. uh, it might be a little cloud. Maybe you're disappointed about what you did. But now, see, I know how to beat that shit. Now I know you got to you gotta punish yourself for that shit. Yo, bro, I be telling myself That's that. the only way you're going to learn your lesson. You got to know how to punish yourself in a way that you can still gain from it. But in a way that, you know, you got to put in a little extra work in that. You got to put in some extra time to get back for that. Absolutely. I be telling myself that, like, whenever I punish myself, I put myself in a gym and I call it a hell workout. So I put mm -hmm. myself through hell. I'll do the stairmaster and until I'm drenching sweat, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'll push up pull ups until I can't like until I can't keep going. You feel me? Cause it's like you gotta keep that mindset. Like like I was watching I was watching um one of your videos on YouTube. Matter of fact, I was watching your live stream. Mm -hmm. And you asked the question as to where how much pain can you take as a man? A lot of a lot of men are That's afraid. Lone wolf mentality. True mm -hmm. say. And when I was in the gym this morning, I was asking myself that. I'm like, yo, really think about it. When you're doing your sets, when you when you got a specific number in your mind, but then you push past that number, how much pain can you really take? You and then you always pain? reset. Always. When you push past that limit, now you're like, all right, I did that. What can I do now? What's, what's next? And you just keep resetting. Right. Like, that shit, it, it, it could, you could become a monster because of that. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's screen recording again. I got a phone call. My fault. Mm. But um, it's still screen recording. Nah, it's screen recording now. I, I got a phone call. But definitely though, you gotta, you have to learn to really push push past any pain that that life brings you, bro. Like that's that's gonna help you build that fucking. It's gonna build your character in life, mm -hmm. life, bro. Because when you're a man, when you're a man, bro, not a boy, when you're a man, right. You gotta be fucking strong and you gotta be solid, bro. 
I'm going a, I'm to a keep it real with everybody that's viewing this video. I don't have any guidance. I don't have guidance. I don't have nobody coaching me in life. I don't have nobody holding my hand telling me everything's going to be all right, T. I don't have that shit. I don't have none of it. But I still got to be strong for myself. You understand what I'm saying? As a fucking man, bro. I still got to be strong whatever, regardless of what life throws at me. Let me tell you right now, bro. Because yeah. guess what? My... If you don't survive, nobody... I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. When I lost my grandmother in 2015, <clears throat> I, have, I have the time that she passed away tatted on me, bro. That's how deep it is. The time that she passed away. When I lost this lady in 2015, I lost the other side of me, bro. I keep it real with everybody. I lost myself. You understand what I'm saying? I lost myself mentally. I lost myself emotionally. I was broken, bro. Losing a grandparent is beyond it. Yeah, I watched my mom. I, mean, my, I watched my grandmother die from breast cancer. My grandmother passed from breast cancer as well. I had to watch yeah. her in the hospital, bro. Yeah, Take I watched her the chemo and all. I had to watch her deteriorate in front of my two eyes. Bro, so, that shit is fucking crazy. So that changes you as a man, right? And, and still to this day, bro, I always think about my grandmother. Always, mm -hmm. right? But I had to be strong. Even though I was in my depressed stage, where the way I live life now is like, yo, T, you got to make grandma happy. Whatever you do, do it in her honor, bro. Make her happy. Make yourself happy as well, bro, but make her happy. Because if she was here, even though she's not here physically, her body is gone, her spirit is still here, her energy is still here. She's still, she's still, she's still proud of you, bro. That's just what it is, yeah. my nigga. Like, but it's like you, you really got to be strong in life, bro, because... You're going to lose relatives. You're going to lose friends. You're going to lose people, bro. You're going to lose a lot of shit. Everybody got to go. You understand what I'm saying? But try not to lose this. This is the most... Besides your heart, this is the most important thing, bro. Try not to lose this in this in this, in this this world. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Try. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All right. I got another question. Um, <clears throat> ooh. All right. What advice would you have for... Those that don't know how to necessarily like transmute their energy or feel as if every time they get an urge, they got to react to it. Um, because I know exactly the group of people I'm talking to, and these are a group of people that normally fuel a lot of the videos I make. That's why I be pissed off. A lot of people would presume I'm pissed off, but I'm really just passionate right. because I know what it's like to be, you know so delusional to where somebody could be talking to you and you just don't hear anything that's coming out of their mouth. So I know the kind of energy that I got to come on these videos to get these motherfuckers to understand that if you don't get yourself out of that mentality, then people are going to literally watch you deteriorate. Absolutely. Like if you don't know how to move through discomfort, through having the urge on semen retention, but knowing that you want to push forward, but instead you decide to like, one of my subscribers told me he did. He, he binged on porn the other day for 11 hours, he said. For 11 hours. Was edging or some shit until he finally relapsed. Like, I mean, it's like, what do you really tell those kind of people? Like, I could sit here and tell you, do a thousand push-ups. I could tell you, go to the gym, get a membership. But how do you even talk to a person with the mentality to edge for that long? Yeah, that's, that's like what can you even tell somebody like that? That's why I say you can't even fucking save everybody, bro. You can't. You can't. Like I sometimes I really get on here with the intention to make videos and be like, what can I say to wake some of these niggas up that's so sunk in in the sunken place? But it's like you when you you at a certain level of sunk in, like you can only pull yourself out of that. You only you can. I respect that. Mm -hmm. I respect that. A lot of it. That's why, I, that's why I keep preaching, like, the you versus you thing. When I put the lowercase, I put the first you in lowercase and then the verses and then the other you in uppercase because you always got that higher self. You always got that, that better version of yourself that you need to activate. Yep. You understand know what I'm saying? And you, you got to tap in. Like, you, you can't keep losing yourself in this shit, bro. Like, we trying to help y'all. We can't tell y'all what to do as men, but we only trying to help y'all. Because we was once in your fucking shoe. You understand what I'm saying? So, for any man that may feel as if, you think you better than somebody because of this out of third. Or whatever whatever these fucking men be thinking on the internet, bro. We not better than y'all. 
None of it, nigga. Ain't nobody. And I don't care if I was on day a thousand and Davis is on day ten thousand. Nigga, that don't make none of us better than each other, bro. Like at the end of the day, bro, it's the it's the mindset and the change that you make within yourself when it comes to holding on to your energy. That's what's gonna make you better than yourself. It's not for you to feel like I gotta get better than this nigga. No, bro. It's to mm. learn more about you because you have a problem with not knowing your importance of your fucking energy. You have the problem of not knowing about it. You feel me? And it's like, like I said, like, you should, I feel like all men should respect other men that are trying to help them out. And I feel like you got to be sensitive and feel like you're trying to down talk a man. Because if you want to, listen, man, it's your, it's your body, it's your life. If you want to choke your chicken for the rest of your life, bro, go ahead. I, I don't care. Honestly, I don't care, bro. That don't have nothing to do with Some motherfuckers going to be like, how you get results from retaining your semen? And I'm going to tell them right now, like like you said before, go 30 days. It takes yeah. 30 days to break a habit, right? It takes 30 days to change, to change. Right. So go 30 days. Try it for 30 days. Give yourself yeah. a 30-day trial. And, and then relapse right after that. Relapse then, after the 30 days. You you relapse on purpose. Mm -hmm. Bust a nut. Get tired. And then say to yourself, damn, I really had mad energy for 30 days. You understand what I'm saying? Just to your energetic level, though, bro. It's to, your, your life is enhanced. Like, you view things more enhanced. But, like, everything, nigga, listening to music, anything, bro, spending time with, with your loved ones, it could be anything, bro. It's just you're more alive. There's too many people that's alive, but they're not really living, bro. You're not. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you, you really want to do shit. You really want to live, bro. Mm -hmm. That's what you got to do in life, bro. Live. Because everybody got to go one day. Yeah. Everybody's people, settling every day. Everybody's too many people settling. focusing on that, though. They focusing mm -hmm. on how they going to go. They focusing on being scared, on, on dying. Bro, live. Embrace it. Enjoy life. Show mm -hmm. gratitude, bro. Be thankful. Like, I remember being in that mental state, like, every day of my life at one point, man. That, that shit that's, ain't that's no real, joke, bro. bro. That's real. That's, that's very real. Mm -hmm. And... It comes a point in time where even with that mental state, you got to learn to break yourself out of it because it's only even that can destroy you too. You feel me? Even that can destroy you. You don't keep really? it real. Um, you got any questions for me or you want me to ask you a couple more questions? You got another one? Uh, I feel like I thought I asked all of them. Um, okay. I was going to say, I was going to say this question too. What shit? Because I know sometimes we, we always have, what day are you on? What mm -hmm. day are you on? Mm -hmm. For those that keep asking, what day are you on? Mm -hmm. How long you been with Tayden, right? We always got those questions and shit. And you know you know my motto, it's a lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Like the same thing with working out, it's a lifestyle. If I miss a day in the gym, that don't mean that I'm not a gym fanatic. That just means that I missed a day. You feel me? They say we got two minutes left. Oh, all right. Oh in the live? Yeah, unless you want we could go jump on real quick again, because I know you were recording for your chance. Yeah, do that, do that, do that. Do yeah, that, so that. we could just jump right on the when it's in. All right, baby, say that, say that. Mm -hmm. But now matter of fact, we could we could uh I can ask the question and then we can hang up and then just call back and then we ask the question. So that is the question. Oh, we can just close this one out. So, Please, one so we appreciate y'all tuning in. We about to do another live right another now. Live, so fact. if you enjoy what you've seen, pull back up right now. I'm about to start this shit right back up. Salute to TC, everybody. All right. Yeah, man. What's poppin', what's poppin'? We back in this bitch. Part two, my bro. Collab. Miracle Child, a.k.a. TC Fitness, a.k.a. Terrence Carter. Salute to everybody that's about to pull up, everybody that may be re-watching the video. I appreciate y'all. For me, we live from Brooklyn, live from Brooklyn. Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Hope y'all enjoying what y'all seeing. My bro is going to post this on his, um, his YouTube channel. So make sure y'all go subscribe to his YouTube channel if you haven't already. If you haven't already. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all got any questions that y'all may want us to talk about while we conversing on this live stream, then y'all make sure y'all write those questions down below and we gonna get to them, you know? Let me see how it That's what's up, bro. Glad you enjoying it, bro. For me. Mm. 
this ain't gonna be the last time we do this. The next time we do it, I'm going I'm probably gonna post it on my channel, but all of this shit is for his channel. So you know. Appreciate everybody tuning in. T C just call me when you ready. I ain't received if you did already, I ain't received no call yet. You got to ask yourself that every day, fellas, as a grown man, how much pain can you take? Because you a man, so you have no choice but to push yourself. You don't have the option to be chilling. That shouldn't even be an option. You should be pushing yourself every day. That's why most men don't feel like men and they feel like bitch-ass niggas. And then when you go to certain places, motherfuckers looking at you and they can see the fear written all over your face, the fear all in your heart. Because you in a fear mentality everywhere you go, everywhere you walk. Because like they say, it all starts at home. See, like the way I grew up, I was abused by my mom's boyfriend for the majority of my life. Watching my mom get abused. So I couldn't defend my mom and I couldn't defend myself. It, it made me feel very inadequate and very weak. Which then led to me going outside with that soft, soft ass mentality. Of feeling like I was inadequate, like I wasn't good enough, like I was... I wasn't a strong enough man because I couldn't defend my mom. And then that's what led to me being bullied all through middle school until I finally decided to stand up for myself. You know what I'm saying? But the only reason why I decided to stand up to my bully in middle school was because I finally had the courage and gained the courage to at least start standing up to my mom's boyfriend. You know, it was days that we fought each other, days where I actually started going in the room, diffusing the arguments. Telling him why you talking to my moms like that or why you yelling so loud. I started making progress. And as I started at least speaking my mind and saying something and not just sitting in the room with the screwed up face like, mm, he don't even know he talking to my mom like that. I'm going to kill him one day. I got tired of saying one day and all of this shit like when I get older. You know, I got tired of doing that. I was like, let me start saying something. Let me start saying something. And then it made me feel more like a man to speak my fucking mind. You feel what I'm saying? See, you got to start listening to yourself and acting on it. See, when you don't act on what you think, that's because you don't trust yourself. And you already are putting yourself in a mindset of where you you just looking at yourself like, OK, these are the thoughts that I'm having. These are things that I want to do. But fuck it, I don't give a fuck about these thoughts Why? Because you feel like nobody else cares So now you're walking around with this sour attitude Because you feel like nobody cares The world is hard, the world is cold So you're not acting on your ideas Because you think that somebody else wouldn't care Maybe because that's something that people never seen before It's something different, it's something unique So you're afraid to put it out there Because you're afraid of how people are going to receive it if people are going to accept it, if you post it on Instagram, where they put fire emojis, where they say I'm dope, where they say I'm the goat, where they subscribe to me, where they follow my channel. You got to stop worrying about what a motherfucker think about you and what he's going to do and how he's going to react to what the fuck you say. You don't never give a fuck about that shit. You speak your motherfucking mind. You get that shit off your motherfucking chest and whoever don't like it could suck a dick, nigga. It's that simple, bro. You got to learn how to live your life fearlessly and unapologetically because those are the people that we love the most in the world are the people that have the fucking courage to live this life that we live, this one life that we live unapologetically. Those are the people that from the fucking sidelines, while most people have social anxiety, you looking at these motherfuckers and admiring everything they do. Because you wish you just had an inch of what they had to just be able to at least speak your fucking mind and get some of the shit off your chest that you got on your chest. But see, you afraid to get kicked out of your mother's crib. You afraid to maybe go tell your mother, yo, I, wanna, I want you to show me some more love. Maybe approach your mom, hug her, kiss her. Uh, because, you know, a lot of parents don't show their kids enough love. And that's where it starts from. You feel like your parents don't show you attention. And it does make you feel pretty fucked up. That's where a lot of my pain came from. My mom was always with my mom's boy, with her boyfriend, wasn't spending enough time with me. And I would get very jealous because of that. 
you know, but you got to learn how to speak your fucking mind. You got to speak up. That's like if you want to date and show it on her cell phone while you talking to her, you got to be like, um, excuse me, like, why you not? Can we talk? Like, why you on your phone? Well, let me answer this phone on my bro. Had to set the tone. So keep keep dropping in gems, bro. Keep dropping in gems. Bro. Nah, I was just setting the tone, so maybe we could piggyback off some of the shit we I was just saying, shit like that. You feel me? All right. Yeah, Trying yeah, to scream yeah. for a thing again, man. I see that you saved a lot, so I was gonna ask you to send it to me because I tried to listen to it on my phone, and you know, the shit got muted. I did the thing that you it was me. muted. Yeah, I did exactly. I did exactly what you said. I got no headphones, and you see, look, no headphones. It's showing loud, and I'm screen recording. And when I tried to listen to it in my photo gallery, I can't hear nothing. Mm. So, so what you want to try to do it. is, when you screen record it, just screen record it after. So play right, it from yeah, the that's beginning. What I was, that's what I was gonna do. And that's screen record it, but make sure you press the sound on the side. The sound, make sure yeah, you yeah, turn yeah. the sound up too. Yeah, I got you. And shit like that. See if that works. Hopefully it do. If you. not, if not, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post it on my channel. Yeah, say that. I got that. you. So if it don't work for you, I got you. My nigga, my nigga. Mm-hmm. But um, to piggyback somewhat on what you, I mean, you can you can finish. Cause I was smoking a little bit, so you can finish. It did. Yeah, I was just smoking earlier too. I yo, I, I had seen a Nipsey motherfucking uh portrait. I I started smoking in front of that. Poppin' was poppin', we back in this bitch, part two, my bro, collab, Miracle Child, way too much, like, yeah. you gonna be waking up in the middle of the night, so we can feel, you know, better about ourselves. Mm. So, so what you want to try to do is when you screen record it, just screen record it after. So play right, it from, yeah. from the that's beginning what I was, that's what I was gonna do. and that's screen record it, but make sure you press the sound on the side. The sound, make sure yeah, you yeah, turn yeah. the sound up too. Yeah, I got you. And shit like that. See if that works. Hopefully it do. If you. not, if not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post it on my channel. Yeah, say that. I got you. So if it don't work for you, I got you. My nigga, my nigga. Mm-hmm. But um, to piggyback Somewhat on what you was. I mean, you could you could finish. Cause, I was smoking a little bit, so you could finish. It did. Yeah, I was just smoking earlier too. I yo, I, I had seen a Nipsey motherfucking uh portrait. I I started smoking in front of that shit. Yo, that, shit was, <laughs> that, that poster was fire. Like they yeah, really be yo. Crazy. They people out here really love Nipsey, bro. Like for real. Yeah, for yeah, real. good music. I ain't going for it. I like the Cause he, bro. Like it was something about Nipsey Hussle that you could just tell. His aura was like he had a certain type of poise about himself that I like admire. We live from where I'm about to be doing security at. Feel me? Live from Bedford Stuyvesant, Vernon, to be exact. Feel me? So let's see how this goes. Smoking one with my boy. Rest in peace, Nook. Rest in peace, Nook. You know how these lame ass niggas be flashing money and shit like that? I'm about to flash these iron pills I just bought. This means I'm about to gain more blood flow in my body and be more healthy. That's what you brag about. What's poppin', what's poppin'? We back in this bitch. Send it to me. Yeah, I did exactly I did exactly what you said. I got no headphones in. You see, look, no headphones. It's showing loud. And I'm screen recording. And when I try to listen to it in my photo gallery, I can't hear nothing. Mm. So, so what you want to try to do it. is, when you screen record it, just screen record it after. So play right, it from yeah, the that's beginning. What was, that's what I was going to do. And that's screen record it, but make sure you press the sound on the side. The sound, make sure yeah, you turn yeah, the yeah. sound up, too. Yeah, I got you. And shit like that. See if that works. Hopefully it do. If you. not, if not, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to post it on my channel. Yeah, say that. I say that. got you. So if it don't work for you, I got you. My nigga, my nigga. Mm-hmm. But, um... To piggyback 
somewhat on what you were. I mean, you could you could finish. I was smoking a little bit, so you could finish. It did. Yeah, I was just smoking earlier too. I yo, I, I had seen a Nipsey motherfucking uh portrait. I I started smoking in front of that shit. Yo, that, shit was, <laughs> that, that poster was fire. Like they that really be yo, they people out here really love Nipsey, bro. Like for real. Yeah, for yeah, real. good music. I ain't going for it. I like the Cause he, bro. Like it was something about Nipsey Hustle that you could just tell. His aura was like he had a certain type of poise about himself that I like admired about him. Yeah. Like just the way, like I would watch some of his interviews, and you know when you when you fuck with somebody in music, you want to get to know them as a person. As a person, yeah. So I'm watching the interviews, and this dude is just like he has something that I always wanted as a kid, like just that ultimate poise, just like just chill, calm. yeah, man, super calm. calm. That's what every man wish they could like have. Yeah, yeah. But see, we sometimes we not man enough to give. One, give a dude a credit for accomplishing that Absolutely. for himself. And also having, uh, you know, be real enough to admit that that's something that you wanted. Because that's where the admiration comes from, from one man to another man. We just, we see a quality in a man that we may want to have for ourselves so we can feel, you know, better about ourselves, feel more like a man, shit like that. You feel me? Because yeah. most men live in their fucking feelings and niggas don't want to live like that's that. that's the thing though, bro, like, it's, it's no such thing as, like, being too masculine as a man. You're a man. Like, yeah, you real. would know if you're in your feelings. You got to keep it real with yourself. Not to sit there and tell you, like, not to sit there and say, oh, act like a robot and act like you don't have emotions. Nah, but it's like, you don't got to be emotional all the time. Right. You don't have to. Um, And emotional, like, for men is, is acting off impulse. Yeah. Like, for instance, mm -hmm. like, most of us, like, where we grow up, where we grow up at, you see a nigga looking at you. In your mind, you like, what the fuck is this nigga looking Yo, at? Yo, don't play. I go for it, though, Davis. I go for it, bro. I be on that type of time because I, I don't like people looking at me like, what? Yeah. But see, it's we like, think that. Hearing that. But the imp we don't act off impulse. We don't say yeah. it. We don't do nothing. We just, we just be in our mind like, yo, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like niggas better chill, but we <laughs> want to, but we don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Take shit. Take shit, take shit. Really? But, um,. Man, I'm trying. I'm trying to think. Cause I had, I asked the questions that I had written down. You yeah. know what I'm saying to keep it, keep it all over there. Mm -hmm. Like one thing I want to say, like about semen retention too, is like if you don't work out while on semen retention, oh, you're yeah, guaranteed yeah. to relapse. I tell you right now, whether you on Instagram reviewing this or whether you're gonna be on YouTube reviewing this later on, work out while you're retaining your energy because you're gonna have too much energy. You're gonna have way too much energy. Nothing. Like, like you're gonna be waking up in the middle of the night, the like of the night, bro. no homo with a with a throbbing piece. Like and that's where like I heard like like the first uh subscriber I ran into, he told me a story like that. He was like it was just one night, he was up too late and he just couldn't go to sleep and then he just wound up searching this shit up and just fucked up, like because he yeah. couldn't go to sleep. His his peace kept him up, like right? in your mind, in your mind. Your mind, like, cause you know you got the you got the good side and then you got the bad side. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The bad side of your mind is telling you release and let let this energy out because you don't know how to handle it, right? Or you you won't know how to transmute this energy, so you want to release it so that you can feel good, bro. But release it in the gym, release it in doing productive things that's gonna help you become the better you. Mm -hmm. Because like you don't have this energy in your body for no reason, bro. The way that I look at it is in my mind, though, and in my reality, whatever I got to do to make sure my mental state is clear, to make sure I'm taking care of myself, my semen is carrying my body. In a way, I'm going to keep it real with right? I'm going to keep it real with In a way, semen retention helps you heal, but in a way, it also will have you thinking of a lot of things that you kept suppressed. I'm going to keep it real with you. Because you build up your testosterone, right? So with testosterone comes anger, right? Because Bro, we, we gain 250,000 sperm cells a day. A, I, I never knew that until until you said that. That's in the fucking video. insane. That, bro. So I'm thinking that. And I'm like. Like, why you think these niggas be relapsing? Like, that makes sense now. Like, a nigga will go a week and relapse. And relapse, yeah. For real, for real. So you got you to gotta, you gotta think of it like this. Like, don't use... The fact that you're building your testosterone and you're becoming more aggressive and shit, don't use that as I'm gonna fuck somebody up and take it out on people. Use it as you fuck yourself up. in the gym. Yeah, take it out on yourself because it's helping your fucking body, bro. I feel like I'm my a, body you gotta ask yourself that anger and all that fucking build up testosterone you got. 
wake up and be like, how much pain we going to take? Like, take like keep that same energy with it's yourself. Oh, God, bro, you got to think about this. I was in the gym today, right? I'm going to tell y'all one thing, bro. People, especially niggas, hate it when you have good energy, bro. They, they hate it. The same way females be hating when another female is prettier than her, niggas mm. hate it when you got that energy and that confidence in yourself and you in your zone, bro. I feel like females hate on the female that got personality. That's what they hate the most. Personality, that's the thing. A lot of people lack that in life. In life. Male or female mm. lack personality because they're dumb inside, bro. You feel me? Me? I got hella personality. I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck if you put me in front of Rihanna. I'm going to be me. Right. What the fuck you talking about? You feel me? Mm-hmm. I got mad personality. So That's a beautiful thing, too, man. For real, bro. And it takes you a long way. I feel, I feel like that's part of us being a Leo, bro. Leo's got power. That's a fact, bro. Like, Goated, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even, even, if, we, even if we don't got personality, we, at least we willing to be ourselves. Super facts, bro. Super facts. But a lot of men hate it. And when I was in the gym today, I be paying attention. When I say I pay attention to everything, I pay attention to everything. Niggas be grilling me. Not on some, like, tough guy shit, but on some hating shit. And it's like, bro. Why are you working out, right? Yeah. What you hating for, bro? Like, for what? You feel me? Then you got a lot of niggas that can't give you eye contact. To me, I'm starting to learn that, bro. I I could look somebody in their eyes. Like, what? You feel me? And it's, you got to learn because eye contact is very important. But you, you know why, dudes? Contact? don't. It's not, see, it's deeper than that. Yeah. Like, like, like the reason why they can't look people in their eyes is not because they can't. It's, be, it's because they're afraid of making it come off the wrong way. The wrong way, yeah. Because they know they don't have the energy or or, or the physicality to, you know, be ready for what may come th- with that. Yeah. Like, because if you don't know how to look at somebody in a respectful way, respectful because way. it's people yeah, that yeah, 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 could, yeah. you know, look at you like, all right, I see you making eye contact. Let me look at you back. But it'll right. be dudes that'll look at you like they tough. Right, right, so right. So now right, right. one person could be calm, just having a conversation, but since you worried about not making eye contact, you gonna be trying to look at a nigga like you tough to right. show like you, like you can make the eye contact, but then you throwing the whole vibe off. You like, bro, what you trying to act tough? Like, why? Right, right, you feel right, what right. I'm saying? But and then you afraid like, damn, if he peeped that I'm trying to force this shit. Like, what if he like at, like you know what I'm exactly. saying? Press people like, yo, why yeah. you looking at me like that though? Like, you good? Yeah. So they just kind of just avoid it as a whole. Like I, yeah. I used to be there. Like that's why I could explain it so well. I was there at one point, bro. I experienced all of that. Yeah. Now, I like to, for the most part, I feel like, like now where I'm at, but it's not to feel superior to anybody. But I just feel like eye contact is respectable, like mm-hmm. man or woman, bro. Like just at least, cause I feel like, just like just like when you pick back before, like. When you sat there and you said, if, if you're on a date with a girl and she on her phone constantly, that's a sign of disrespect. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You should post that. You're supposed to address that. Like, yeah, that's not disrespectful. You should. And at least, like, when, you, when you're when you around. And she's going to she gonna fuck with that, though. Yeah. And I, like, when you're around a female, never be afraid to give them eye contact, bro. They, they should be afraid that. to look you in your eyes. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, like, right. You sh- you I feel should like make- females supposed to be like if men was more masculine, women supposed to be nervous everywhere they go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And you'll be and he's not nervous in a bad way, but it's like you mm-hmm. gotta give her that feeling, like the little butterfly feeling, whatever it case be, but like in a good way. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, but a lot of men like they lack the eye contact. Learn how to hold on to your energy. Your eye contact will be crazy. You'll be able to look at everybody. Like, Slow scanning mm-hmm. through people. You feel me? We gonna keep it real. Mm-hmm. Um. You got any questions you want to ask or any of the viewers? Any questions you got? You know what I'm saying? I want to ask right. one is love. I, I would say one thing I want to say too, like, yeah, make sure y'all ask a question. We're going to answer that shit if it's a good question. But um, if you want to start learning how to see through these Instagram models, you got to just think about, you got to just look at them, see through the makeup. That's all. Once you start, once you see through the makeup, you see a totally different female. You got to learn how to start. You got to learn how to have, like, it comes from having eye contact, though. Because when you know how to make eye contact with somebody in real life, you can see through the bullshit, like, the maybe the fake persona that they have or trying to put on. And then you get to know certain things that you need to know and how to deal with that person. So when you translate that in real, when you could do that in real life, you get on the internet, you can see that. Oh, I could tell right she it. arched her back. She doing all this extra shit because she wants yeah. some likes. Like, you could see shit. And then to have you like, man, like, you know what I'm saying? And then Instagram and shit like that won't bother you. And let me tell you, for the men that feel like 
That's a good topic too. We should be really talking about it. The men that feel like they can't control themselves when it comes to going on Instagram or going on Twitter or going on Facebook and seeing something and then feel like they got to release. Oh. That's a, that's the that's the whole build up of like you're supposed to have that self control to where this don't bother you. Like I was just on a live. I ain't gonna front. I'm gonna keep it a bean. I was just on a live, and one of the one of the um. The guy that was on the live, he, he was promoting some girl. And the girl, you know what I'm saying, showing her body and all that, whatever case it be. And I, I wanted to bring in the comments, like, yo, bro, this is what y'all niggas be paying for. Like, mm -hmm. for real, for real. And y'all be giving these females y'all energy, right? A weak-minded dude would see that video or see that live or see it, whatever, and say to themselves, I got to watch porn just because I just seen this. Instead of saying to yourself, bro, this is the norm in social yeah, media. Yeah, they thinking about the it's naked inevitable. female that resembled yeah. what they saw. And, then... and it's... It's it's inevitable to, it's inevitable that that like you're gonna you're gonna see females half naked, bro. You're gonna see that on the internet. Why? Because they crave attention, bro. They literally can't live without attention. They can't live without food. They can't live without attention, bro. You feel me? So if they don't get attention in the reality of life, they want attention on these social networks. They like attention, attention for them is equivalent to a man, like us being at the bottom on our grind, yeah. and. Uh, you finally get a job, and then you finally get that first paycheck. That's, That's what it feels point. like for a woman to do all of this extra shit, put on all of this makeup, and do all of this extra hard work and pod body posture, all of this shit, to be able to get a viral picture that's going to have niggas beating off the hug, and following her page, and Atten that should really make her feel like a queen. Like Attention is one hell of a drug in this generation that people aren't paying attention to. Like, like, me personally, bro, I don't want no fame. I don't want to be famous. Right? No, like, I don't give a fuck about that. I don't want to be famous. I want to make sure my family is straight. That's why it's nine niggas in here. We still keeping it tall. Like, keep it keep it, keep it, it a being, you feel me? Yeah. I, I, I want to make sure my family is straight. I want to make sure I'm straight. I want to enjoy this human experience as much as possible. And I fuck with the people that fuck with me. You understand what I'm saying? But all that being famous shit, I don't, I don't want that. That shouldn't be a need. You shouldn't want everybody to know who you are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's dangerous. It, you become a target. You become a target. And if you're not if you're not promoting positivity and at least trying to help people, then it defeats the purpose. All the lustful yeah, shit dude. is for what? What if I went on the internet and I was taking pictures of my drawers and shit? Because don't get me wrong, I used to do modeling, bro. You feel me? But modeling is different. That's a that's a form of art, in my opinion. I didn't did shows, I didn't did shoots, I did I'm on I'm on the internet, you feel me? So mm -hmm. I tried to be modeling. a model once too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like I, I enjoyed it, but I'm not about to be on social media just in my drawers or telling girls, yo, I'm about to make an OnlyFans come watch. Like, I'm not about to do that. That's not that's not me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not about to do none of that. I'm not about to be on the internet feeding for attention. I post workout content, and I go about my day. I be deleting this app, bro. I don't care for this social media shit. Too many people depend on this shit. One day they're going to shut it down and y'all going to be Now, people sick. literally wake up in the morning and check their notifications. And yo, bro, so like, that's what I wanted to say, Davis. Soon as you wake up in the morning, bro, you don't even give thanks for waking up. You go and check the social media. Mm -hmm. Give thanks for waking up first. Go brush your jigs, bro. Go take a shower. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you eat breakfast, eat breakfast, whatever. But stop focusing so much on other people's lives. All you're going to do is scroll and be depressed. Scroll and be depressed. Scroll and feel like you're not living your life. You understand what I'm saying? Most like, people just Kevin. That's Kevin. that's why that's why in my last video I, I told about I made about social media I said that this shit is ego it's ego fucking land bro like all it is is people's egos all it is is a fake reality they can show you what they want to show you females take a thousand pictures just to get one good picture just to get one and it's not to bash them but it's mm -hmm. the facts and which picture look better bro it's not that deep. No, for real. You worried about likes? As long as you look good in deep. real life, you shouldn't give a fuck about the internet. You understand what I'm saying? Like, bro, and, and, it, and it's like, I feel like people could walk around, if, they, if, if we could, they'll walk around with their Instagram names on their forehead, bro. Yeah, and feel like they're superior because of the number of followers. You see on my Instagram, I got 10,000 followers. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't care. I used to be Instagram famous when I was younger. I didn't care for it. You feel me? Like, because I used to do a lot of shout outs. Every, everything was, give me a shout-out, give me a shout-out, give me a shout-out. It got annoying. It wasn't bringing me no inner happiness. Social media will never bring you happiness. Ever. It will only bring you freaking wanting to be validated by other people, bro. And that's why I made the video before. Like, I feel And like then you don't even, you, you become what you think you want people you to, uh, to see you at. To see, yeah.
Like that's why women, you know what I'm saying? They become Instagram models and they just cater they, to they these live off creep that ass shit, niggas that want to see. Live off that you know what shit. I'm saying? And it's it's crazy. Like that even hearing that Instagram model, bro, that shit get me mad. Cause it's like, what is that? Like, what is an Instagram model? Well, you feel me? Like, it's either you model or you don't. <laughs> like, that's just what it is. You feel me? There's no in between. And Instagram shouldn't be people. They're too consumed in it. It shouldn't be people's lives. You have a real fucking reality. The reality of life. Right. The Instagram is the picture in the moment. Just like with couples, they take pictures in the moment and look happy, but be. Mm -hmm. Having the shittiest relationships, you understand what I'm saying? And be like, trying to convince the world that they happy. You see what people bro, this, think this, about them. Like it was a female that one of her, uh, you know, inspira not inspirations, but something that fueled her and put the battery in her back to like question her relationship mm -hmm. was the fact that people in the comments were saying that they that he looked like he's not happy with her you because of that time. video that they posted. So they pay attention to that, mm -hmm. and then they start judging their relationship off how people okay. look at it. Mm -hmm. so it's weird bro that's what I'm telling you and like it's down to where I feel like in this reality bro I feel like there's people out there that there's couples that they'll take a picture won't get enough likes and if they don't get enough likes they'll probably break up with each other or something you feel me shout out to my boy um, Bokeem too shout out to Bokeem man. that's the guy here. but I feel like they'll break up with each other because they ain't get enough likes you feel me and weird mm -hmm. shit like that like everything is, is I want to be relationship goals I want to be this I want to be that instead of just Relationships are supposed to be genuine connection in the spiritual human experience. It's supposed to be genuine. Fuck the pictures. Fuck the likes. Fuck the comments. It's supposed to be one on one, not one on the world. One, not us two against everybody in the world in our business. That's 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 not relationships, bro. Mm -hmm. Not oh, you gotta post me on social media for for the world to know that we're together. Like this cycle gotta break, bro. But I don't feel like it's gonna break anytime soon, unless people really tap in, bro. Mm -hmm. They too, like. They're too addicted to this shit. I've been off of it. Besides when we when we did the live the other day, mm -hmm. and my life has been a, I've been on focused on Terrence mode, bro. Mm -hmm. Focus on me, bro. Like I'm not focused on these fucking apps. Yeah, like once you work. find your vibe, you're not gonna never want to get bro. out of it. It's over. That's it, bro. I ain't gonna front. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> We gonna we gonna talk about any advice for people that let's talk let's talk about let's for a minute let's talk about like broken homes right because mm, mm. we, we can talk about because I, I come from a broken home we don't really talk about it right good for shit those, Brenda for those that may come from tough upbringings right or may have mom but no dad in their life or the opposite dad in life and no mom or whatever however however. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have for people that come from broken homes? Because a lot of people can turn... Like we talked about earlier about the anger shit. A lot of people can use that as a way to destroy other people because they're not getting that love from any crib. Right. So what advice so, do you have for people that come yeah. from broken homes? So if you live in a broken home, uh, you automatically got to forgive your parents for the ignorance of... Uh, Meaning because they didn't do the healing that they needed to do before they had you. I respect that. Uh, you know, some kids are born, you know, by mistakes. And, you know, mm -hmm. maybe it was just a lot of sex going on. It could have been an accident. Like my situation personally, you know, me and my baby moms uh, had a miscarriage at first. And just that whole process of the miscarriage was very, like, depressing for both of us. And just on some young it was kind of stupid. We just decided to have the baby because of how sad we were for losing the first one. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't a very smart choice. So I take responsibility for that ignorant decision that I made. Mm -hmm. And now me and my baby mother argue all of the time that we can't get along. And that could lead to potential toxicity, right. which I'm glad we're not together. So at least, you know, my son, when he gets old enough, he gets to come see me when he has time. And he get to go with his mom and me and her don't really have to interact if we can't get along, which is okay. As long as I get to have a relationship with my son, I could really care less about trying to mend any relationships with people that don't work, that, that don't concern me. Mm -hmm. uh, but you got to learn how to build that love for yourself. You're going to have to move out as soon as possible and you're going to have to do that healing and do that inner work immediately. Mm -hmm. you, you owe a lot of time to yourself. 
right? Because you've been doing so much, you've been spending so much time worried about your parents mm -hmm. and why your parents are so distant and why your family is so distant from you, why they don't show you enough love, reach out, whatever. They might hit you with the, oh, but you ain't called me, though. And, like, just all that funny weird shit, like, just just go do you. like, And you got to do you and do it unapologetically. You can't worry about people thinking that you're switching up or people may not agree with what you got going on. You got to really have a, you got to wake up every day with two things. I don't give a fuck and how much pain can I take? If my boss is getting on my nerves, so what? You got to say, you got you to tell yourself I love you, too. Thanks. That too. That too. I, that yeah. you doing that is 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 self love. Absolutely. You know, by saying that you don't give a fuck about what takes place today, because you gonna ride the day out because you love yourself enough to not right. give up on yourself. Somebody getting on your nerves, you're not gonna do something that's gonna have you wind up in jail, right? Unless it's self defense, and you just make sure you state that in the court of law. Exactly. Make sure that's you get you a good lawyer if you can. Bro, you know? I be I be I be respecting people like you, bro, because. And anybody that, that has this type of mentality, this type of mindset, because it takes a strong person to really understand that. It takes a strong person to really have that, I call it, I, I call it willpower, right? But also, you know, just strength and inner strength to separate yourself from the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And to, and to at least know, you know what I'm saying? Like, what what you're supposed to do, because mm -hmm. I ain't gonna front, bro. I didn't, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Seen a lot as a kid. And um, I didn't I didn't see a lot. I keep it around. I didn't see a lot. As far as you know, like abuse, like when I when I was a kid, I used to get very abused. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. um, it was never really physical with me, mm -hmm. but the, the 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 verbal abuse fucked me up mentally. And that shit is fucked up. Yeah, really. yeah. It had me mm -hmm. to the point where I did want to commit suicide. I keep it real with y'all. Mm -hmm. And um, and it's not you know for no sympathy bullshit, but it's just to keep it real. You're just speaking and, your um, truth. Yeah, and. and it's it's one thing to come from a broken home, but then when you got to go to school and you got to deal with the bullshit from school and you got to deal with that, you, it's a lot. It's a lot. You feel me? So a lot of, I feel like even with the age that I'm at now, 26, I feel like a lot of my built-up anger is still because of my childhood. And I'm not trying to make it seem like I had the worst childhood, but you know what I'm saying? I, I had a tough one. I had a tough one. I came from the hood, just like you. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. the project. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my that's my hood type shit. And, and it's like, well, I like being, I like being. Mm -hmm. <laughs> regardless of the fact it's like I came from the hood bro so it's like everything that I seen I wasn't supposed to fucking see yeah. right I wasn't I wasn't supposed to see you're not supposed to be see like women are not supposed to be getting abused not supposed to be getting abused not supposed to be that shit as a kid that shit is demonic so, watching that shit very very and I feel for I, I feel for women like I feel I feel for them on a different level because women a lot of women are I don't want to use them. They're not weak. They're not. Women are fucking. They're, they're strong. But they're weaker physically than men. Unless they, they train or some shit. They're a girl to knock a nigga out. But mm -hmm. for a man to use his power to abuse a woman and then for a kid to see it, that shit not normal. That damage. That damage. They make that shit kid normal now in these households as to where these dudes feel like they can abuse these women in, in front of their children. That's not normal. You feel me? So I be. I, I be mad still because of it, but I'm learning to also never become that person just because I've seen it. That's not a right. Just because you see it don't mean it's okay. Cause you know, and, and we're not going see. all the way, you know, it's because this is another part that goes with that too as far as like with women out here lack communication mm -hmm. skills as far as like knowing how to be feminine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, you know, for instance, like I've had arguments with my baby mom to where She'll start, she'll say some shit, and then she'll, she'll call me a nigga. And it just mm -hmm. don't feel right having a girl talk to you like a man. Like, it, it feel mm -hmm. weird. Like, it'll provoke you to just get loud with it and start spazzing back. Like, oh, bitch. Like, because I just, you know, I hate when a woman talk to me like a man. Like, it triggers me. I, I don't because like it. And, and it triggers a lot level, of me. It's, it's the level of respect. Mm -hmm. It's the respect level. So when a, when a female is talking to you like she's a man, and you know she's a female. It's like, yo, chill. Like, because then it's, it's that switch that's in your head. I was like, all right, now I'm going to treat you like a nigga. So you going to treat me like I would. Like, you going to talk me like I would. Make you want to a little bit. It's like, there's no other like, way you're going to be able to shut her up when she do that. Like, yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, so I, yeah, that should be annoying. Gotta, my nigga Chad just joined the chat too. But a lot of females gotta work on their, uh, you know, communication. And I feel like just as as people, bro, we gotta work on our communication with one another. Like, I feel like if if people communicated more, bro, relationships would be way better. You know what I'm saying? People will, will be genuine with each other. Like, should it be real? But we lack in communication. We lack in in focusing on how the other person feels. Everything is about me, 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 and never about the other person. You feel me? Uh -huh. And we fuck up on that, and then and then shit just clash, and it don't work. You feel me? It don't work. My nigga Chad, man, what's good, Brody? Salute to the G's and the love. Facts. That's the that's the guys. That's that since high school, man. That's years ago. That's my boy, dude. Facts. But if if people work on the communication aspect, bro, relationships should be a thousand times better, bro. Oh God, bro. Everything will be better. That's a fact. But um, yeah, like I'm trying to say that with the with the broken home shit that we were talking about before. For anybody that's going through that. And like Coach Davis was saying, bro, try to get yourself out of it. Try to keep yourself mentally, you know what I'm saying, like sane in this world because everything starts off in the home and then we bring it out to this real world, bro. That's for all of us. That's for all of us. We Things start off in the crib. You get that built-up anger in the crib. You get this, that, dirt. And then you go in the real world and you take it out on everybody or you take it out on your coworker. You take it out on your job. You take it, whatever. You take it out on yourself. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But He just made a good point here, bro. He just said some real shit. Like, there's dudes out here that, that literally carry their trauma with them. Absolutely. And they blame it on, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I grew up because my father did this, did that. And they try to use that as an excuse mm -hmm. as to why they do what they do as far as, like, like super violent, dumb shit, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's you know what I'm saying? And that's not, that's not okay to do that either. That's why niggas just got to let that shit go. Like, like yeah, it was fucked up. It's, it definitely is good to reflect on it. Mm -hmm. To learn from your childhood, and you could use it as fuel for now to push you to want to be great mm -hmm. for that young you that had to suffer for so long and mm -hmm. see some mm -hmm. fucked up shit. But carrying that shit with you, that shit is holding a lot of motherfuckers back. And, and, and it'll it'll deteriorate you. That's that's why that's like good. I think I think the Most High, you know, for introducing me to senior retention, be, only because besides the growth in myself, it helped me, you know handle the reality of what I've seen and what I've been through in my life better and I had to keep it real with myself a lot you know playing victim shit as to you know like I told you before like whatever I've done in my in my life bro it wasn't nobody for it but mine mm -hmm. like we, we spoke about it me getting kicked out of college who I'm to blame who I'm to blame you feel me any relationship that I fucked up who I'm to blame any any type of you, you know you ever heard the, the term like you don't want to burn no bridges right when you burn bridges with people and then you really need them, fucked up. Because you already burnt that bridge, right? Now, if you can swim, you can swim. It's cool. I can swim. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I learned. We live that. in a sink or swim world anyway. Absolutely. Abs mm -hmm. Absolutely, bro. And I learned that you don't, you got to take accountability for you. That's just mm -hmm. that. If people take accountability for themselves, you feel me, and their actions, things will be better. People. The next will live be I do, better. I'm going to fuck with y'all. But this live is me and my bro. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And my boy Jeff just, just tapped in too. That's the guy just. But to say though, so I'm I'm learning that, bro. Just take accountability for your actions. Don't blame it on cause I told you, bro, I don't got no guidance. Nigga, I, like I got a father, right? He's here physically, right? But mentally and shit like that, bro, we don't click, right? And 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 learning that you gotta become your own man, bro. Like cause there's men out there that have, you know, father issues, you feel me? And they and they take that anger out. And they, like I told you before, self-destruct. They could use that as a, as an excuse, right? Yeah. But I use that as a way for me to get better. Right. Knowing that, nigga, you got to love yourself more because you don't have that energy coming from your father. Like my father right good. now, he live in a sight ward. See? A sight ward. And he, he depending on antidepressant pills every day. So it's like in you order to give up. But we can't, we can't, like, I don't, I don't tell myself, T, I'm a, I be had, like, don't get me wrong, bro. I, I'm a human, bro. I have emotions, but I don't tell myself I'm going to give up because I ain't got my pops. Because, bro, he lived with me. I already told you that in a video before. He lived, he lived with me, bro. And shit like that. But it's like, I'm my pops. And I tell people that all the time, bro. I'm my pops. I'm my coach. I'm my best friend. I'm my guidance. I'm, I'm, and I love me. See, you know, the thing about men and why fathers can't be fathers today, you know, young you know, young sons that's growing up to be men is because when you can't take care of yourself, you feel like mm -hmm. you have no business. It's not even like they don't, 
it's not like they don't want to be your father. It's just they are so insecure about where they at in their life at this point, and now that you are aware as a son to be able to see them fucked up and having to pick their shit together, mm -hmm. it makes them so insecure they just turn their back on you. That like is. for instance, my father, when uh when I was young, I used to cry and call him on the phone like, "Dad, come see me, please!" Like cry my eyes out, try to get him to come see me, but he was so insecure about. You know, at one point he was in on Ward's Island. He was homeless. And then right after that, he was living in a room uh, with uh, some other motherfuckers that was like fucked up in the head, like along with him. And he was so insecure about what was going on that he was he just didn't want to be around me. He shunned me out. Not because he didn't want to be my father. I understand that now as a grown man that deals with my own PTSD. Mm -hmm. I understand that he just knows that he's so fucked up. He, he can't even control his own being. And that, and now he's taking antidepressant pills. He he he, just, he can't be a father even if he wanted to. So he would much rather me probably uh, miss him and all that rather than me actually get to know him for real, for real, and see how fucked up he is. Like I finally got to see and know that it's fucking over. Yeah, that's that's understandable. Mm -hmm. But what keeps me driven and saying to myself because like y'all know I ain't got no kids, but like. If the most high I do bless me, you know what I'm saying, with a child one day in life, bro, I will never, never, ever, 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 ever treat my child, you know what I'm saying, like the way, not even, like, I'm not trying to make it seem like I had like the worst fucking childhood, but when you do get, you know, verbally abused from your parents, or when you do get, you know, physically abused, bro, that's real, bro, we gonna keep, I don't give a fuck, bro, that's real, you feel me, and that shit sticks with you, bro. Uh, I'm 26, but like I told y'all before, nigga, it get worse as you get older it. because it's certain shit like, like it's certain shit while you was going through that that you ain't even pick up on that you yeah. only gonna pick up on when you start when you reflecting older, on what you went through. And you and like, hold on, I was a little nigga, and that's what he did, or that's what he said, or that's why like broke, that's why bro. they did. It. You start putting one and one and two together mm -hmm. as you become grown, and it make it, it fuck you up a little more. You, you start to grow that little bit of hatred, right? And you start to grow a little bit of anger and a little bit of animosity in your mind, right? Yeah, yeah. But I just be saying to myself, like, now that I'm older, bro, first of all, that shit would never happen again. I'd be wishing I could go back in time. You feel me? And I'd be wishing. Because in a way, it put it put fear in my eyes as, as when I was younger. You feel me? I'm going to keep it real, bro. Like, I'm going to keep it real. That shit, that shit put fear in my eyes because it was just like, mm. I'm going through that shit at home. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? And then it's like, like I said, like, going through it verbally in school and shit like that. Down to niggas calling me anorexic, you skinny, you ditch, bro. You can ask them. There's two niggas in this chat right now, bro. That went to me. That went with me to high school, bro. You can ask them. You feel me? Without, without I, I went through that myself. Though. I know what that's me? like. So it's like when you go through from the, in the home, and then you go through in the real world, and it, everything just be fucking you up, bro. But I like say that's the only reason why any nigga was playing with you like he was like the way he was playing me while I was while I was young is only cause yeah. I ain't had no muscle. I figured these niggas out, bro. These yeah. niggas is not going to want to fuck with you. You get your muscle up. That go for every nigga in this chat, bro. God. You need to be doing your push-ups every single day. These soft-ass niggas out here don't want to fuck with niggas that got muscle, bro. I put that on my son, nigga. You got some muscle on you. Niggas, at first, when you having a conversation with a nigga, he going to look at you in your eyes, and he going to see your fucking biceps popping out your shirt. He going to see your chest popping out your fucking shirt. And he going to be like, that's the nigga I know. I better watch my fucking mouth <laughs> and my tone when I talk shit, to this bro. nigga. Real Little shit. They going to check they self. You ain't going to have to do nothing. You could be the most goofy, weirdo nigga in the world. If you got muscle, niggas is going to leave you the fuck alone, bro. I swear to God, bro. That's, that, that's where a lot of my like my, my, my passion for fitness comes from. Because yes. Terrence is always the little nigga, bro. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm mad big, bro. But I got my shit up. Now, dead put a nigga now, bro. I'm mm -hmm. not like I'm not playing with nobody, bro. Like nobody. I'm, yeah, I'm on the same side. I don't of the care time. if a nigga is seven feet tall, bro. The anger that I got inside of me, I'm not. I tell people just leave me alone. Bro. I'd rather you leave me alone. That's the code of the street. You trigger bro. me, bro. That's I'm the code a, I'm, of the street. I'm keeping it real, bro. Like, I'll be keeping it real. Because every and, nigga in the street is just a ticking time bomb. Yo, bro. I just told a nigga that. Yo, bro. I just told a nigga that shit earlier, bro. I swear to God, I just mm. say, yo, bro, I be feel like I'm a ticking time bomb, bro. Yeah, bro. You feel me? And it's like, it's because of the people from my past. It's because of them, my nigga. All the teasing, all the, I remember, bro, I remember everything. I forget, but I never forget, my nigga. I would never forget, you feel me? And at the end of the day, bro, like, 
like the fitness shit brings me fucking happiness, bro. Like just working out, and it's not for to it's watching not, it's yourself not grow to, for real. Like yeah, bro. Just to it's it's not only just to have the muscle, but it's just just to know like when you put work in on your fucking body, bro, and you see fucking results, that shit feels great. I'm telling that you, that shit bro. feel great. It don't matter what day you start, nigga. There's no ending journey, bro. There's no such thing. Just like in life, there's no such thing as an ending journey because life is never ending. Like you never stop learning, you never stop growing. Your body ends when you die. Your body ends. That's it, right? But life itself, bro, this shit is a journey that don't stop. And, and people put a timetable on certain things. I want to look a certain type of way by this type of time. Fuck all that, nigga. Enjoy your journey. Put the fucking work in and love it. Enjoy mm-hmm. what you do, bro. I'm never going to stop working out, my nigga. I'm never right. going to stop, bro, because mm-hmm. I learned to love it. And the same people that were shitting on me is the same people that be asking me for advice, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah, bro. That's how it go. And that shit just be my mind bothers me and like my passions like what I want to do. Because life humbles people in a different type of way, man. It does, bro. And like what I want to do with with my fitness shit is like show people Terrence came from somewhere. Nigga, mm-hmm. Terrence was born one pound, my nigga. One pound nine fucking ounces, bro. We had this conversation before, you feel me? So Terrence has his own story. I just want the mm-hmm. world to know, but I want it, I wanted I want them to know in a motivational way. And like yeah, an, my in, son was born three pounds. Way. He was born what you call that again? Premature, bro. Yeah, he was born premature. Premature. I had the wild. I had angels, to go bro. show up to check on him and shit because they kept him in yeah. a certain little area to yeah, make sure bro. he was gaining certain kind of incubators, weight. Incubators, like, bro. We be in the incubator. Yeah, bro. He probably had a breathing tube. You feel me, bro? I know, bro. Like that shit was fucking was me dead. up watching that shit, bro. Yeah, bro. They, but they told my mom that I had thirty percent chance of living, bro. Thirty mm. three zero. Mm. You feel me? And like, my brothers are joining the chat too. You feel me? Salute yeah. Salute everybody in the chat. Facts, but. True say though, bro, doctors told my mom that thirty percent chance of living, bro. So you understand what I'm saying? Like I got my own life journey as to why I fucking work out. It's not to sit there and feel like I'm better than niggas, but it's to really show niggas, bro. I put in work. Mm-hmm. I put in work on myself to build myself up and my self esteem. Cause there was one point in time where I wanted to kill myself because of y'all niggas, bro. Fuck is you talking about? We gonna really speak on it, bro. You understand what I'm saying? You gonna really speak about it? I got a cut on my face right now, bro. I was staring at myself in the mirror one day. My Mm -hmm. mom was in the room with her boyfriend arguing, going back and forth. I was so scared of that nigga. I I, I I I didn't do nothing. I knew I couldn't do nothing. I was in the mirror with the razor. I was about to slip my throat, bro, but I cut my face. Yeah, that was, man. Like, I'm trying to tell these niggas, bro, like, I was at a very dark place at one point in my life, nigga, like, it's a lot of people go through the dark places that they don't never speak on. And it take real niggas to really speak on it on the internet, bro. It take real niggas to really speak. And we gonna post this too, bro. We yeah, gonna, not for real. We gonna post I remember it, what fucked me bro. up the most while she was going through that was yeah. that she told me that it was a day she was going to work and she was about to jump on the tracks. Like, my mom told wow. me that she was wanted to commit suicide. Wow. Like, nigga, like that shit, I'm telling you, bro, like, that's why I be getting on here going so crazy. Like, I know what it's like to be dark, dark. Like, mm-hmm. and I have to pull yourself out of that shit. Out of it, bro. Uh-huh. Like, yo, bro, say that again, bro. Say, say that one more time. Say that one Real time. shit, bro. Because you, once you, if, if you in a dark enough place, you ain't going to have, you the only person that could pull yourself out of that shit. Say, bro. You the only one, man. Like, real shit. You, you going to have to that's just that's accept that's the fact that, that, you know. You got that's toughen up out shit, here. Bro. Shit get okay. should be hard, should be foul, should be unfair. Uh, you know what I'm saying? All of this, all these politics, you know, shit is unfair for us and poverty. They put us in these situations to fucking fail and the state broke and it depend on the government. Mm-hmm. But you you gonna keep complaining or you gonna figure out how you could do what you gotta do to make maneuvers and get you uh, you know a bag for real, invest in some real estate so you can really be eating out here. Or you gonna keep watching these fucking clowns on Instagram watching. fucking cap all day, when they ain't really ain't about shit for real anyway. These niggas just taking nice fucking pictures, nigga. All it is pictures and videos to make their life seem perfect when that shit fucking fake, fake as fuck. Fuck is you talking about? Talk about the demons that you fight. Talk about the skeleton. Talk about oh, the really? negative shit, bro. Don't we gonna all this relate to that to this like... fucking Instagram shit, bro? Everybody got. Demons that we fighting, nigga. Terrence got them demons in his inner in his inner self that he's fighting on a fucking daily. I might not show it on this internet shit, but I I, I gotta show it in fucking reality, bro. You feel me? So it's videos like this that we gotta keep showing people because this is the real. 
Instagram that y'all see on these pictures is the fake. When niggas is live and they talking like this, this is the real. This is the real raw shit that y'all gonna hear. You understand what I'm saying? And everybody got to. Cause I, when I get on this shit, mm -hmm. I get on this shit like motherfuckers when they're on the internet. They, they, you could tell they already have no self respect for themselves. <laughs> So when they get on the internet, they just act like fucking idiots and do yeah. prank shit just for fucking followers, it's, just to try to entertain y'all niggas. Because they don't it's even take they self serious. But see, it takes real niggas to be on the get, get on the internet like we doing and keep be honest like this. Because out of respect, we got real people that sitting here watching this shit. So yeah, out of respect, respect I'm not it, going bro. not talk no it. bullshit on this shit. I got people watching this shit, and I'm not gonna waste nobody time. I got another man on here talk. I'm not wasting his time. Nobody mm -hmm. time. That's just how I move. When you respect yourself, you you have you respect everybody around you. Around you. And look what she just said. She said, just gotta make sure that your light outshines that darkness. Everyone wanna be on demon time. That shit is corny. And that's absolutely facts, bro. Because you gotta what it is is like like we were talking about before, bro. When 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 we use this anger that we got inside of us, but we use it to become better. Instead of fucking people up or destroying people. Because where that's going to land us, bro? We both... Bro, we got to really talk about it. We both two angry niggas. You can look us in our eyes and tell. Nah, Nigga, bro. the eyes is a window to the soul, bro. That's why people that's, leave me alone. Yeah, you feel me? So, and I, bro, I had to ask... Like, I had to ask somebody that, bro. When I, when I have a regular face, do I look evil? Like, do I look I mad, know I do. bro? Like, I don't want... Bro, I don't be wanting to look mad to people when I have a regular face. Like, mm -hmm. I be trying to pay attention to what... How people view me in the streets, and it's like, bro, I, do I look fucking angry? Like, what the fuck? You feel me? Like, but like, most people I, can't I look at me in my eye. Like, I'm not even trying to brag. Yeah. But most people can't even look at me in my eye. Yeah. I they mean, it, it's, 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 but it's, it's because, bro, I feel like when people feel it, when they, when they feel that you, you got the, the, the anger in you, got some type of, they feel like you're probably going to hurt them, but it, I'm not going to hurt them. I'm not going to do shit mm -hmm. to you. I'd rather just, like you said, hurt yourself in the fucking gym, nigga, work out. Take that shit out on The that, thing bro. is, like, like, I learned, like, when you make eye contact with people, there's a flow that's being created. Yeah, it's energy, bro. Within it's, the it's conversation. A frequency. It's a frequency. Yeah. So now, y'all feeding off each other energy like we yeah. doing in this conversation. But it's a lot different in person because Absolutely. when, like, let's say, for instance, like, I'm looking at somebody in their eye and I'm talking to them. Like, us, we've been through a lot of trauma. Absolutely. So, see, a lot of the trauma that we've been through, we keep all of that built-up shit in us, and we got a lot of built-up negative energy that every now and then we may lash out. Absolutely. But, see, when we flowing and having a good conversation, we, we know how to transmute that negative energy, and we it's speak very passionate. Excellent. But, see, that intimidates people. You feel that when you have enough energy to be passionate mm -hmm. and transmute that negative energy to then, you know, direct it to the conversation that you have with somebody, but in a passionate way. Mm -hmm. You know, people just be like, damn, where he get all that energy from? But it just came from going through a lot of shit. Go like, through shit, you know, you got to go through shit to, to understand. And word up. We still got our whole lives ahead of us, bro. God and yeah, niggas is young, life bro. is going to throw us more shit, bro. Yeah. Life is going to throw us more shit, but at the end of the day. That's why I tell these niggas, like, don't worry about nobody in high school. Like, like but the person I was in high school, like, I remember, like, I probably say, like, a couple months ago, I ran into somebody I went to high school with. And he looked me dead in my face and didn't even fucking recognize me. Yeah. And this is a nigga I used to be cool with. He looked me dead in my face and didn't even recognize me. Like, I'm not even who I was in high school at all. Like, you, you, you become a new person every year because you steadily getting battle tested. There's different things that's going, that's going, that you're going to go through that's going to mold you. There's different situations that's going to happen in life that's going to mold you. There's different people you're going to come across that's either going to bring you positive energy or negative energy, bro. But, Every, it's not like every year you got to look to evolve into the better version of you. And it's going to take a lot out of you to not want to go back to your fucking old self, bro. It's going to take a lot out of you, bro. It's going to, it's in it, like I said, because we so fucking angry, right? And when people ask, why are you so angry? Well, how about you walk in my shoes? How about you live the life that I live? Right quick. You feel me? And then understand. You understand? Like, I don't just well, how about them. you just open your eyes and just pay just attention to what other people got to go through unnecessarily because every, of the fucking all the politics and all this bullshit going on. Everybody, everybody is going through something, bro. And it everybody. don't even be angry. It be passionate about life. Yeah. Saying. And it's like, I be, I be passionate about life, bro. I embrace it. I enjoy it. Like, I love life. No matter what negative it throw at me, nigga. Mm -hmm. On God, bro. 
Every day ain't gonna be a good day. Nigga, that's fucking fake. That's the fakest shit ever. Nigga, every seven days in a week, every day ain't gonna be a good day. But I still appreciate and show gratitude for life. And you gotta know how to maneuver though. Like, you have to. see, people you have are just to. like something to happen that they don't like. Like, they boss might get on their nerves, or somebody might say something disrespectful to them. Mm-hmm. And now they just they carry that with them throughout the whole day and, okay. and, and now call that day a bad day. But, like, it, it's funny. It's like, bro, sometimes I watch funny compilation videos on the internet. Yeah. Like, just earlier this morning, like, I woke up in a bad mood. Like, because I didn't feel like going to work. I just was like, I don't feel like going to the projects to be no fucking security guard. Yeah. Like, but I went. But before that, I'm getting dressed and all that shit. I had some time to spare, so I'm chilling. Nigga, I, I, I start watching the Hodge twins. I don't know if you know them niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I start watching they funny compilation. I was in tears, crying. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. I was fucking happy as hell after that shit because I couldn't stop thinking about them jokes they were saying. Yeah. And I was in a good mood after that. I was chilling. You feel me? So you got to know how to sometimes, yo, take responsibility for the fact that, I right, I'm in a little bit of bad mood. All right, let me, let me try to get myself... Let me watch something that I know would get me in a good mood, lighten up a little bit, and then, you know, carry your ass outside and handle your business. Well, for those of y'all, man, if y'all got to smoke a little bit of weed, man, smoke some That's fucking true. weed and relax, man. Y'all see me, I'm high. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, somebody just asked us, I think, in this <laughs> live or earlier, somebody asked us, like, this weed hold you back. Fuck nah, no, it don't oh, hold you back. Yeah, answer that. You can't answer that. I was going to answer it. Yeah, before. like, well, weed don't hold you back. Actually, weed put you with, like, me. When I smoke, I be writing music, I be freestyling, and I be in this flow state to where I be amazing myself. I be like, like, it'd be times I be rapping some shit, like, I might not have recorded it or nothing. I be thinking, like, why the fuck I ain't recorded? Or, damn, I forgot what I said. I got to write that shit. And it just be, I be having so much fun when I smoke and I be listening to beats. Like, that's something I enjoy in my free time every now and then is to do that. Like, I connect with myself like that. And it's a brain workout to freestyle. And I'm going to keep it exact with with you. I'm gonna keep it a beat with y'all. I used to be the one of them niggas that was like, fuck smoking weed. Smoking weed is whack. This sound the third. And yeah. then I ain't gonna front like 2017. I got into a relationship and shit. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. 2016, my fault. 2016, I got into a relationship. And girl was where she, you know what I'm saying? She was smoking weed and shit. So I was like, I used to tell her to stop. And then eventually I started doing it. And now I start to look at it as like, for the ones that say like, we make you lazy, you just lazy. It don't make you lazy. I work out high. Can't nobody tell me shit. Salute, Chris. I see you. For me? Yeah, facts. Chris, salute, bro. So it's like, weed will make you lazy if you allow it to. If you're already a lazy person, it just adds to it, bro. But if you're not lazy and if you already got the mindset to go get to it, bro, weed ain't going to hinder you, bro. And it's a plant. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not telling y'all to do it, but for those that do, do it. And you weed know. is also something that your body has to adapt to because it's a very that strong too. plant. That too. So, <laughs> of course, if you yeah. smoke it yeah. and you're not yeah. used to it and you get tired, duh, nigga. Like, yeah, let your know, body, you feel me? Like, yeah, you ain't even know. really, you yeah, feel bro. me, though? Like, you niggas don't. The beginning stages, though, is comedy, bro. The paranoia and shit, you like, y'all mad high, my nigga. Like, you start hearing shit. You, nah, 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 the beginning stages of smoking weed is comedy, bro. It but is, bro. But once you adapt it to it, it's like, it. Nigga, I'm high. You want to get high, too? Like, what's up? Like, like if people got high, they'll be more mellow, and they'll be more chill. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And if you could... I personally feel as if, like, if I could vibe with it shortly while I'm high, like, you got my attention. Because if you fuck up my high, then you can't vibe out. It's quiet. You feel yeah, me? You fuck, basically, you fucking up my vibe. You fucking up my vibe. Like, you feel me? Because we put you in a vibe. Like, put nigga's fucking be a vibe. vibe bro. Like, oh, God, bro. Facto, facto. Shout out to everybody still in the chat, man. Real salute to everybody tuned in. We y'all. appreciate all y'all. Not real for that. Real you know That's why we keep it tall. We respect everybody watching this. Respect it, 100 grand. If y'all got any questions that y'all want to write in the comments for us, y'all can ask. We're probably going to be in a little bit. We're probably going to be on for a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. And he definitely going to post it on his channel. I'm going to try to get the film too and post it on my channel as well. Mm-hmm. Um, If y'all want to sub to his, well, obviously, yeah, for those that came from my channel, if y'all want to sub to his channel, his channel is Coach Davis on YouTube. Definitely hit that sub button. He got great videos, great content, great content. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate um, that. Everybody got a story, but y'all could definitely learn something from his story, learn from his content, and um, you know what I'm saying? Love is love, man. Love is love, man. Shit of wealth, shit of wealth, shit of wealth. Everybody here to win, and he's here to see people win. That's what. That's mm-hmm. another thing that a lot of men don't do. They don't want to see other men win. Yeah. That's weird. Like my, this like if right you want to know my purpose of my channel, I'm just basically I'm just gonna tell you all the answers. Yeah. I'm basically the cheat sheet. Anything you need to know about the streets, how to move in the streets, how to move in life as a man, 
how to, you know, get that job that you want, how to get with that girl and maybe keep it locked in. I'm going to give you all of the answers you need. I, I'm not holding nothing back. That's what I see. That's what everybody lack. Motherfuckers get the answers and they start acting like rebellious, like, oh, yeah, I finally figured it out. Now I, I see why they was over. doing such and such. I bet I got the answers. I'm not telling nobody shit now. It's over. For real. They say we got two minutes left, though. This shit about to be over. All right, bet. So, look, the chat about to be over, y'all. We appreciate y'all tapping in. Just make sure y'all please sub this channel, sub to my channel. If y'all ain't sub to my channel yet, my channel is TC Talks, TC Fitness. We're not going to two K subs on the on the YouTube and all that. Love is love, mm -hmm. man. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Right. And, uh, and if you if you uh if the screen record don't work for you, text me, let me know, and nah, I'm, gonna, you, I'm gonna post the whole shit on my channel. Just let me. All right, know. say that. We are gonna have some more mm -hmm. content for y'all too, though, for sure. Love is love, y'all. Mm -hmm. Show me, I'm about to call your phone, Shelves. All right, bro. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Salute y'all. See y'all soon, man. All right, nigga. Salute.